guys welcome welcome to another session we have in getting to the end to the goal league and oh my god oh, yeah. that timing that perfect timing when the game is starting thank you guys really they really damn appreciate it the love is real and today i'm here with batman batman with some transparent background and we have 4v4 arabia spanish persian chinese and hans spanish hans aztecs and chinese aztecs dangerous civilization in both sense in a positive in a negative way too why because now green that is happy happy is in the middle with the aztecs pocket pocket i don't feel good today ay 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 wait a second Okie dokie, uh, let's go guys, we have right now Nadia on the left with Chinese, on the right side Orange Persians and uh, Chinese is facing who? Foo, Spanish, well it's not ideal for any of them to, to be flank, also Nadia, Nadia being flank, I'm not sure about that, I'm not sure about that, but on the right side, okie dokie, Persians, Teutonic tanks, Senok, why are here with again with that with that username? Oh wow, I thought you changed. Anyway, Chinese pocket whoop Aztecs. No, sorry, Aztecs is the pocket, and the other pocket is what the hell? I'm confused, man. Is whoop whoop pocket Chinese and Aztec pocket? Then the flank we have Hans and Spanish. Hans is good. But Hans is against Teutonic Tank Persians. Well, we have the best players from Austria, Beijing Pocket, Hans Leary, and Spanish LB10. We we didn't have we didn't have this situation yesterday, okay? We didn't have this situation yesterday. But Senok, you don't need to do that. You can keep in this account. You can connect your Twitch Prime with this account. And you don't need to change. If you have a Twitch, uh, Twitch, Twitch Prime, why do you use the other nickname? Just link the the Twitch Prime to your Senok uh, account, and that's it, man. And you keep going subscribing for, uh, with the Twitch Prime if this is your main goal with that account. And you don't need to change. And then we don't get confused with your with your user, but it's your choice. Anyway, now that we we have seen this situation is dangerous because the other players are 2.2k okay but you can change the nickname you can rename the, the nickname you don't need another account anyway it's still your choice and then you keep the membiros and, and everything and the history in the bot i think so if you change the the, the name but if you change account it's new account Okay, anyway, that's not really important now because we are going to focus in the game. The map, pretty open here. Pretty open here for, for Nadia. Remember to go for the bet. It's Option 1 Austria, Option 2 China Frantic. And go forward. This is open but easy wallable. While also really, really big open map from Frantic. 5 ZM is Vivi, guys. Purple, purple is Vivi. I was just telling this. When you ask if Vivi is playing, purple is Vivi, okay? Then we have orange here, Teutonic Tans. Be careful, man. Be careful because you're gonna lose the, the village. I don't think so, but hmm. Well, let's see. If you wanna really make bettings, if you put bettings all number two, it's not gonna work, okay? It's not gonna work. You need to put exactly the, the amount, okay? Anyway, map for gray. Super open as well. Look at the boar. Oh, lame it, man. Lame it, the boar. I do, I just noticed now three boars, man. Three boars in the bank from gray. Well, orange in troubles. Let me check if they are back or it's just a pause.
I am on top. Uh, I think it's a boss. So yeah, let's get let's get checking. We don't need a command. It's betting help, Mothump. There is a command exclamation mark bettings help. But people will do it even if you if you betting for them, Mothum, they will do it. So it's no problem. Okay, well let's see. Now the betting, the bettings are closed, and uh, well, three boards banned for Gray. So, team has the advantage. I will go to Teutonic Tanks. Why? Because Teutonic Tanks is with one board less. One board less means that he's gonna be in trouble. He is trying to get those deers, but he's not. Oh man, he lost one village. Also, are you kidding me? Oh man, you see it with the lag and everything. Yeah. Uh, it was a pause. Lots of villiers. Teutonic Tanks is in, in a terrible position. Mm, right now he has one board less. The only good thing is that his Persians. Persians works pretty well. He has the deers. He's gonna wall. He need to wall. And team is on the way to feudal age. I don't know what is he going to do. Let's see if he's gonna go aggressive forward or he will go scout. Well, for now he's not doing farmer, so we don't have an idea yet of what he's doing. Now I'll look at Vivi. It's going to go extremely aggressive and LB10 lost lost the scout. That's terrible. Let's go to Vivi. Vivi's purple. Five centimeters. And he's going forward with Spanish. Five seven villagers. Not five. Seven villagers. This ship is beautiful. Ha! Ah, I feel proud now about Vivi. And now I feel good. Yeah, terrible dark age from Austria on the flanks. Definitely, man. Definitely. Okay. Look at this, man. One, two, three, four, five, six villages. Okay. Seven. He's sending one to the other side. Let's focus and see. The thing is that he didn't explore. Oh, he's going to the pocket? Yeah, but that palisade? He's gonna make the tower. Oh my god. Look how he's preparing already to make the tower on goal. Uh, oh, but. Candy pizza, awesome, awesome. A smart play by Nadia. Good job, man, good job. But now he's going directly to the pocket. That tower is not gonna make any damage. Why? Because he didn't explore properly, you know? And this one is gonna make the damage, but, okay, the goal is here. He should make a tower in this spot. Definitely in this spot. Oh, he's going with the villages, he's good. Going with the villages like this. Be in the pocket, I think you don't need it, but he's doing. And he's gonna make the the tower anyway. So this is not good for LB10. This is Titanic. For me, this is Titanic. Yeah, he's losing now villages. And for what? To send this, ignore the lumber camp. Gonna lose a villager? Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, two villages lost. Well remember LB10 is a 2k player. We expect better reactions. Better reaction here. He should have just Palisite wall to don't let him go there and now this tower is terrible it's absolutely terrible for austria for lb10 lb10 is basically die dead bye bye i will go to lb10 point of view and you can see that he will have no resources no gold no nothing yeah you can see five villages with that tower oh my god super close to the goal gonna lose another villager yeah man this is this is not good man Another village down. Four villages already down. Oh, well, three villages and the scout. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, let's see if Nadia can make the damage now on purple. He should be able. But the problem is that the pocket, the other pocket is gonna be free, free killing. Whoops, we know that he's 2.2k play in Arabia. So you can imagine, he's doing the barrack. Now he's taking the goal.
Mano de Poz Well, seems to be... Yeah, another pause. Why so many pauses, man? In a tournament game, the pauses should be really limited for a really serious... Well, but how do you control the seriousness too? Now let's focus, because Happy Happy with Aztecs is forward also. And he's going forward to Leary. Leary is on the way to Castellage. But then, Happy Happy will be there. Will be there. All right. Uh, KW1K, I'm gonna be harsh with my comments, probably, but uh, is what I always say, the rating is useless. You can get 2k rating playing against uh, some kind of 18, 19, or maybe 2k, but uh, it doesn't mean that you are overall, in all the circumstances, a 2k player. And this is what I think with many players, actually, so for that really the rating is not that important in my opinion like you can see Leary is also in a disaster position why because Leary didn't explore anything you don't explore you don't explore you only focus on your economy and you die like they are doing man super easy really well he's gonna be in castellate with one stable if he's doing second stable, I don't know if he's gonna be worthy. Maybe one stable is all, is good. Uh, Leary 24 villages. So both pockets, both pockets in a terrible position. Terrible position, really. Well, let's see what LB10 is, is doing now. I think he's sadly GG already. You can see that LB10 has no resources to go up. Uh, and Nadia? What is Nadia doing? 39 population, 8 army. Is sending some army? to do some damage well she's sending some army but not gonna be enough China is really strong well they play super super aggressive man now oh, well the camera sometimes is cuckoo but I will check the camera later maybe some effects well it's also well during the day there's a lot of sun in the outside that that also make that looks all different maybe anyway uh, okay oh that flaring he want to go to the corner interesting well uh, Leary 28 population double stable with the Knights he has 26 villages but really disaster position now for them disaster position another forward for for gray and with this situation Teutonic tanks went stable I don't understand why they go stable he, tr he tried to go castellage Really? I mean, with this, uh, with one boar and all this situation, all this stuff, he tried to go fast castle. I don't know if that's gonna be worthy. And also, oh, oh come on, man. Uh, these walls, I mean, can you tell me this wall? I mean, because one tile, a hole, but we have here one, two, two tiles, man. Like, uh, are you kidding me, man? I mean, this is a hole? No, it's, it's an earthquake, man. In your country, an earthquake make holes smaller than this. What the fuck, man? That, that wall. Oh my god, Austria. Oh my god, Austria in this game, really. Anyway, now we can see how Leary with four knights is going to the left, trying to... Well, I think he could kill this. Yes, knights with plus one. But look at those arches now. Oh my god. LB10 is gonna be... Well, you will see how he's gonna be. There you go, man. Green. One village down. Two down. Three down. Absolutely over, man. Wow. LB10, 31 population. No, Ch China Frantic is better than Emma. Definitely, man. I mean, China Frantic is... It's really, really damn strong. China Frantic is... Is one of those teams that are favorite to, 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 to win the tournament, in my opinion. GG call, yeah. 20 minute game, guys. 20 minute games. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Let's go, achievements. And Leary and LB10 were the pockets. So... Whoa! The first game is... 
is total destruction, guys. Total destruction by China. Well, well, Austria, Austria played so, so sloppy. Not exploring these players that, you know, that they go forward many times. It's almost impossible. LB10, zero army. Uh, tanks, well, almost nothing. Team, I mean, Vivi with two army. He just killed without doing army with tower as kill LB10 and Nadia. He did see it for T Larga's army, kill one unit. That's that's fast resume for this game, guys. Going for the second game. Final, hopefully, it's not gonna be back anymore. There you go, guys. Migration. Seems that is now working properly. Hopefully, the bet is still open only for one minute more. Now we can check the positions, everything in the map, and we have Austria and beautiful China Frantic, really strong players, Grey Leary flank with Mongols, whoa, if he's going super fast against Persians, a Vivi, that can make some damage, they are really damn close, really close, you can see how the path from uh, between the, uh, the Icelands is really small, really really small, small, and a lot of water, a lot of water. On the other flank, we have orange Teutonic tanks with Persians. He's facing who? What, what, what with Japanese flank? So Japanese is gonna be pocket. Um, Vikings Nadia. Okay, good Japanese Vikings is better to have as a flank. But the other, the other teams as oh, Mayans. Mayans. Okay, no Mongols. Mayans. Interesting. 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 And. Vikings Joffrey, both Vikings as a pocket, and then also Mayans and Japan. Well, Japanese is better in this map. Why? Let's remind you why. The Japanese are super damn strong. <clears throat> there you go. This is Japanese civilization. After this match, he's gonna play the other, the other. Chinese, China SY, China SY versus Argentina. Now focusing this game, remember that this map has six ships only, not eight. Also, only deers, no boars, you see? And the maps are pretty small. Pretty, pretty small, usually. Almost all the resources are, well, under the dangerous to be on the range from the from the galleys. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Here has a bit of luck with the gold and stone, at least in feudalage. But in Castellage, they would be in the range again. Yeah, Mayans is really great for the land, for the land migration. I completely agree, agree. But let's see. We have seen, we have definitely seen this before, and we have seen that the water is important, but seems to be a bit less important in this in this migration map. The land in these big maps are. Is super 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 important. LB10 doing a nice dog. You can see how Leary is going to go super forward and aggressive with with his dog as well. But really, with Leary, Leary should go is go as fast as possible. He should take the advantage to be the only one with Mongols. All right, no Mongols in the other team, so he should take it. Oh oh oh, what is this? Ay ay ay, Leary, Leary. Oh, Leary, watch too much my channel! Look at the Bambi doing crazy stuff! Leary, I feel proud, man! I feel proud of your of your luring! Well, three villiers of wood only. Three villiers? For real? I'm going to Leary point of view. Where's Leary? Leary, Leary, damn it. I'm old, man. <laughs> well, he's doing the house, but only three villiers of wood. That's not normal. That is because he wants to go as fast as possible up. Definitely. For that reason, he's sending villages to the berries. You see? He's still not able to do a fishing ship. So he will go, yeah, as fast as possible. That's not gonna be super easy. Let's see if he will have the food. Is he gonna make a fish or not? He's not doing well, he's doing one. He's trying to get all the food to go up crazy fast. How many? 20 population? No, it's impossible, man. Doing another villages, sending two. Two more, and just checking this spot because I think it's the most important. Yeah, he will go up. That he has an old food. Oh my god! Oh my god! No food! No food! Lady, put the villains on the. Sh well, no food. La 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 la. Well, he's up now. 
He's up now. 9 minutes 26 seconds. 20 population up. It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. It's super fast. But is he going to be able to... Wow, look at this goal. It's not bad goal. This is a bad goal. He will need to mine the goal here. Oh my god. He will need to go all around. What are you doing? Are you are you really going to, to the goal from, from this side? Come on, Leary. Yeah. That's terrible. That's terrible. Terrible map for him. If he's not taking the advantage, big problems. But he's sending the four villages. Soon he will make more dogs. There you go. And we'll try to go as fast as possible. Anyway, we can see Teutonic tanks really fast too. But then Vivi, Vivi and Wop are going up too. All the flanks try to go as fast as possible. Wop 27 population, Teutonic tanks 25. To be honest, it's okay because it's one minute difference. One minute difference and Orange will be faster. But with Leary, with Leary, it's one minute and ten seconds. And Red has seven population more. Seven population more. Do you think one minute and ten seconds, seven population more, it's really worthy for Leary? Or Leary will struggle big time? We will see. He has two dogs. Really, if he's going with the galleys, he can maybe recover. We will see fast, because they are really close. But the most important is, he will go to the right point. No! Look at the look at the other point, to blue. If he's going through this, this, this way, this path, terrible. If he's going here, really good. But wow. Oh, let's see, man. Let's see. Welcome to the channel, Friggies. Ah, but this is a smart. I love it. I really love it. One from the left, one from the right side. That's the way to go. You put... Yeah. Now all the chances to find it. And he find it. So now all the galleys here. Come on. Change the other point. Two, four, six fishing ships. He need to take now the advantage. Damn it. But he, he will have three dogs. No. Deny. Yes. Delay him. Delay him. Delay him. Oh, yeah. You need to delay him. Otherwise, you won't have the advantage anymore. Ay, 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 ay. Well, he's delaying. A bit, at least. How's it? How's it now? But he didn't kill anything. He's now coming. We gotta go and move the ships. Go into the pocket. Yeah. He's going to the pocket. Do you hear everything? Do you hear the medieval Total War music in the background? All the sound, all is good. Because sometimes I change when I'm not casting the tournament. Hopefully you can listen the music good, but not too loud. And the, the in-game sound as well, all is good. If you, don't, if you don't listen properly, try to adjust the volume. And if you have the maximum, just tell me. Okay, now going back. Two galleys, one, two, okay, 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 three galleys now. Now he need to move. Oh, that's a good micro. There you go, first kill. Now go back. Don't lose this one. Don't lose this one. Don't lose this. Go back and repair, man. Ay ay ay. Yes, you see, I mean, everything matters. Every single unit when you are at the very limit matters because now Vivi has more galleys than you, and you are. Oh. Ooh, that was a nice, a nice one. You need to go back, hide it, hide it, go back, just hide it. Now four, no, 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 no. All right, he didn't kill it. He did a micro. Now he did it. He noticed, man. He noticed. He noticed. Wow, I like it. I am focusing this aggression, but there is more fight in the other side as well. Teutonic tanks, 46 population, 47, killing the ships. Greenpeace, man, Greenpeace, we'll call it. And WAP with the galleys going to... Ooh, ooh, I listened the magic sound for the sling. Did you listen? Spect it, man, spect it. The pocket is linking. Japanese with 22 damn fishing ships. The Vikings with 22 damn fishing ships as well. But Candy Pizza, Nadia, with a sweet nickname, has right now 20 fishing ships as well. Are they both slinging? Let's check the panel because we have a beautiful overlay to see if this is happening. Also, we can see how much resources they are providing. 1200, almost 300, and he got 900. So, wow, he almost lost 400 resources on the way. But 
Happy Happy is sending to Wop 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 a lot as well. You can see how yellow and green, both pockets in the same side, are on the way. On the way to Castle Age. So, Happy Happy is sending to the opposite flank. So, they will have problems in both sides. I mean, in this one, Leary should have the advantage. Oh, doing now the double with Axe. He can go up. Yes, he's going up right now. So, Leary should kill definitely the VV because he's up to Castellage. There you go. On the way to Castellage. Vamos, amigos. But in the other side, Wop is gonna kill Teutonic. Teutonic tanks with 17 army. He's playing so good. Yes, but now. He's gonna be against Wop that is under the damage link. And that's so dangerous. Well, we have the, exactly the same situation but in opposite flanks. Who is gonna kill more the other is gonna be the key on water. But then we have also to don't forget that you need to go to the middle. You need to go to the middle, definitely. Okay. He's going back. Be careful with that micro. But Leary population, guys. Leary population. It's dangerous, man. He has less galleys. He's gonna keep losing more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Leary, you have to be faster than what you are doing now. He's losing another galley. Wow. One for one. Now he's coming. He's pushing. The, the sling is real. Look at the resources he has. Even if he's losing the fishing he, he don't care anymore. But he keeps losing more galleys. Happy Happy is there. Wow. The Chinese team is playing so strong, man. He's pushing Leary big time. Oh my god. And in the other side, he's gonna die. Because he's gonna be in Castellage. Are you kidding me, man? Well, Nadia is in Castellage. And what's he doing now? War galleys with the Vikings. That's really good. Now he's losing a villager. He has four dogs. Five dogs. But even with the five dogs, look at his resources. No wood at all. Okay, now he will make all the all the upgrades. Fletching, I mean, Botkin, War Galley upgrade. And I don't know if he's gonna make the university. I guess so. He's doing. He need to make the Bozo as well as soon as he can. Yeah. Leary will go in. I don't know if he will go in. Because he needs to keep going and, do, and, and make galleys. Otherwise, Red will be still killing him. And that's not good. Jeffrey doing ballistic. And here, in the other side, I mean, if Nadia is there, Teutonic Tanks is War Galley, Abrid, and Botkin. They are playing good, man. Austria this time is playing good. But the Chinese seems to be... I don't know, man. In another level, man. In another level. But we will see. It's not decided. Of course not. In the middle, are they going? Are they moving? Nadia... Going to make some tone centers? Yes, without even the loom. Oh, oh, oh. You go without the loom and you lose the villages. There you go. Now Leary is pushing, finally. But like you said, Leary is on the way to Imperial. <coughs> Red has 14 army. Leary, 14 army as well. With war galleys, with plus two. He's gonna make the ballistic. I think he didn't. He just did the... The average, he's seen, in, he's seen Imperial 23 minutes, man. 23 minutes in Imperial. And this is with the SY Nations Cap mod. That means that the sling is nerfed. It's completely nerfed. It's, it's way lower. But even like that, the sling is so damn powerful. Whoa! Well, the water wall is going to be for, for Austria. Or it should be. Because if he's going to have Galleons, I don't know, man. And in the middle, in the middle, they don't have to match. Are you kidding me, man? Awesome. Guys, they know what they are doing, man. Jeffrey, 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 do you listen to me? Jeffrey, without any resources getting his link, it's on the way to Imperial on his own. Jeffrey, and it's the Vikings with 45 bullies, 13, 13 bullies more than Leary and more army than Leary it's on the way to Imperial Jeffrey is there this is absolutely total domination even if the score is like this aye 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 well let's see because Jeffrey need to help both sides that's the problem that's the problem what is blue doing is linking man 
happy happy is slinging all the time and going to the middle this is what he has to do with the mayas pick the middle and definitely sling like he's doing demolition ship lost both are going to be in imperial that's gonna be so damn interesting you can see how now Nadia and Teutonic Tans are pu -pu 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 pushing, but really the population now seems to be really, really damn good, really damn good for for Austria. It's looking so good for them. This is gonna be Galeon Abred Bresser. Let's see if he's gonna make the the chemistry as well. I mean, if Leary has really low population, almost no villages, those Galeons should do the job. He has even the Carinian, all the damn upgrades. Are you for real? Okay. Yeah, I did. I casted everything. Like I always do. I casted the games. Alright. I will upload on YouTube today. And you don't need to, to have pauses and anything. The middle is not that important yet. The middle is their tone centers. We can see how... Vivi is with the stable, doing two extra tone centers. Red is in troubles, he's doing a tower, and Jeffrey is now in Imperial. But Jeffrey has 29 army, yes, he's gonna make Karin in all the upgrades. Nadia is on the way to Imperial. Alright, man, alright. But Jeffrey, 101 population. We will see. We will see if Valeri can take everything. A blue should go back, green should wait. Did we get the upgrades that he has the upgrades? Well, he doesn't, man. So this is looking so good for for Austria. Unbelievable after the first game. Look how with a good with a good strategy with a good strategy. How now in this specific map Austria is doing well, really well. But remember how important is the middle. Happy, happy on the way to Imperial. Okay. <laughs> Blue deleted the TC. Uh, I think so. He don't want the TC here anymore. He's trying to transport all the villages into the middle, and I think is the right decision. And you don't want to make villages here, definitely. Maybe he could make farmers. Other than that, nothing probably. He's moving all. Yeah, he's trying to move all the villages. The Imperial Age, he has a castle, oh my god, remember how important is the middle, and in the middle, what they have, in the middle, Austria has absolutely nothing, nothing, and green, Geoffrey is coming, with almost the same amount of galleons, the same amount of galleons than, than O'Leary, Leary, forget, Forget about focus on this. It's true that he's killing villages to Vivi, but then he's coming from behind with the galleons. Be damn careful. Okay. Blue Matchers. What's going to convert? Imperial Age. This is starting to look so good. Aliri will have two castles in the middle. Alright, two castles in the middle. Awesome. Well, with two castles, that is making a difference. Trebuchets. Oh, look at the castle to, to protect the goal. Is he gonna be able to do? No, he's not gonna make it, man. He's not gonna make it. Well, I think Austria, after the first game, just surprise, surprise us with a beautiful performance. Beautiful performance taking absolutely this game. Well, whoop, 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 38 population. Vivi, 43. Only Jeffrey with 103 and Happy Happy with 70 and in Imperial can do maybe something. But I'm not sure about that. We will see because they never give up. Is this gonna be now a crazy comeback from the Chinese? He's doing another castle and let's go move to ZL. L10 is still slinging a lot, a lot. He's now doing another castle here. Red with 43 population. But really, he need trebuchet. He's not doing trebuchet. No, he's not doing the Trebuchetes. Yeah, the two castles, those two castles are the key in the game. If he's getting the middle now, Leary, he could do a lot of damage. If not, Blue, Blue can get 
everything with the plumages and trebuchet. Leary, guys, onto this link, elite Milo dice. I'm moving to Leary point of view, 86 population, but his resources, guys. <laughs> Look his resources. Oh my god, his resources are absolutely sick. Sick nothing, man. He lost a villager, he's moving. Villa is purple, trying to get a good spot. And in land, who has more map? It seems that China has a bit more map in the middle. This is not gonna be. I don't know. I don't know. They really go need to go this. If they kill those two castles, I think China can win the game. If they let Leary grow up, grow and get stronger, not gonna be a chance for, for the Chinese. Leary is still really low, 43 villages, his score is because, guys, look at the ratio kills dead by Leary. You can check yourself. I'm sorry if I make little pauses, I'm, I'm, I'm still really sick. <coughs> Teutonic tanks on the way to Imperial. Magundites are so slow, I know, but against Zero, oh, and he's losing, oh, no armor upgrade. <clears throat> He's doing another castle, but those Magudais are killing villages, man. He has not army, man. Blue is really low, 60 population. He has castles, but 48 villages and 10 army only. Now, those blue marches are killing the Magudais because the Magudais without the armors are not enough strong. But now Teutonic Tanks is gonna what? He's doing now the Barak, the Obama. Ay, 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 ay. They are still trying to rebuild. Teutonic Tanks going to be in Imperial. It's really important that... Well, what is Nadia doing? Nadia is... With so many army on water. Actually, all the army from Austria is on water. And the water, it's maybe not that worthy anymore. Look at those blue marchers. No, be careful, man. Thank you for the loot, these guys. But Lear is not is not uh, microing properly. Look at this. Look how he's wasting all the Mago dice. Look how he's wasting all the Mago dice. Oh, man. Oh, man. And now the blue marchers. He's killing a lot. Yeah, he lost a lot of Mago dice. If he killed the castles, China win the game. China can come back in the game. You will see, guys. You will see. Now killing more and more villages. Leary is still losing all the army. I'm going to Leary point of view. And Leary still have almost no resources. He's coming with three mango dice, one trebuchet. Now, one trebuchet that he need to repair close to the castle. Just repair, kill the castle, and that's it. That's it. Not gonna be easy because he will have villages to defend. Going back, just leave the blue matches there to defend the trebuchet. And that's it. I know I say that's it so many times, but is what it is <laughs> and he still have no prison now he will have prison orange will come back from behind with cavaliers those are not an old mago dice even if they are elite it's not an old the blue marches are good good and old I have to stop those mago dice like you can see he's killing a lot of a lot of mago dice where is orange doing now double stable cavalier played part in armor but still the castle is going to be gone oh my god oh my god lear is not even repairing the castle i don't know what the hell is he doing in this game i will go aggressive now because leary need to wake up tick 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 leary are you here he's not you see he's not answering what the fuck man he's losing the game for 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 austria are you for real man Focusing the damn land, forget the water, the water is bullshit man, water is not even needed, he is, now, happy happy, CL, blue, killing absolutely everything. Yes, but the water is not that needed anymore, you need the land, you lose the land, you lose the game, remember, you lose the land, you lose the game. Orange is doing Paladins. We will see if Orange is gonna kill it. Let's go to Teutonic Tanks. Zero gold. Zero gold. With so many castles. You need... You wanna kill with 9 army? I don't think so. He need to gather a lot of army. And he has no gold anymore. He's getting also resources. Probably. But 
he's losing and now he lost another castle gonna lose another one probably but frantic zl if he's going helps ay 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 that's why he's not coming back because this is chain of frantic mood your spirit stop drinking man yeah i know that leary is in many places but still the most important is land in my opinion at least now palan is incoming leary doing the thumbprint frantic zl doing the chemistry he will have everything and now with those trebuchet he's gonna kill gonna kill lv10 tc he has no tc this is his only tone center remember one player is in feudal age and that player is going to be wrecked completely lb10 would be out of the game nadia is in imperial she is still fighting on the water but on land she got nothing the paladins are coming yes but he's only 16 army he's getting now a bit more oh it's gonna be a no i don't know trebuchet he need to send the blue marches with the traps now it's a sloppy play by blue but blue is coming he's coming with the blue marches he's gonna need to go back ay 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 elite blue marches almost fully armored this is a lot of blue marches the blue marches are so cheap and with those blue marches he's gonna kill absolutely everything everything man whoa and now the village by leary ba -ba boom the undertaker Call it, man. Call it. Bye bye, all the villains, man. Bye bye. Lear is down. He's really, really down. Do you say that he was going to kill everything with the pala as well? Now he's doing some damage on Purple, but Purple has 77 population now, 80. So he has recovered a bit. He's sending the pala, he needs to send Trebuchet. Nadia, send Siege. Rams? Maybe Siege Rams can do the job <coughs> because the Blue Matches cannot kill the Siege Rams. Well, he's raiding, but Campbell's. Knights, blue marches, two castles. No, man, they are missing siege. No siege, no game. Blue marches killing the paladins because he's sending all a split army, split army, split army, split army. Now, finally, he's sending the, the paladins together, but he's coming with the camels, with the knights, a lot of blue marches. Who's gonna win this fight? It's gonna be really important for the game. If China win this this fight, ay ay ay. But if if Austria is winning this fight. Ay, 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 as well! Oh, ho, ho! Two trebuchets down, more blue marches, but seeing that they are getting out of resources. 60 population Leary, 60 population LB10. Both strongest players in a really bad position. I think, I still think, even if the score is like this, if Teutonic Tanks is not killing with more... Ooh! Now, mm, 22 Paladins, this, the rating is real. Okay, let's see if he's gonna go and do, and do the job. 82 population, wow, the rating now is beautiful. Look at the castle on top of the hill, yes! Teutonic Tanks saving the day. And Nadia with really strong population, 175. You send more Trebuchet and you will kill everything. Look at that rating now, look at that rating! Beautiful, oh, he's coming with monks. I don't know, but the LB10 double the tax, 44 minutes. That's the way to go, Edelfix. Where is Edelfix? I don't know. Okay, he convert now, he has two paladins. Be careful, man. I'm not so convinced about this. You need way more siege, way more siege. He's repairing the castle. This, these Chinese teams are sick, they never give up. And now he's gonna come with more trebuchets. which is gonna kill the only single castle for Leary. Leary, 43 population. The scores say that, that Austria is leading, but Austria will lose this game. I'm telling you guys that he will lose this game. Nadia has 40 idol villages. In the main uh, in the main land, right? For that reason, that that TC there is useless. With Mayans blue marches, he's killing absolutely everything. He's gonna lose probably the, the, the trap, but he's gonna lose the castle. Yeah, the castle is down, man. The castle is down. No! 48 HP man! One damn shot! One damn shot! Whoa! And in the other side. Okay. How you know they lose? Because they are using only orange. Orange is based on paladins. Paladin is super expensive. Blue, blue marches. He can now go halberdiers as soon as possible. He's going halves. They will stop them completely. Also, they have Leary out of the game and LB10 out of the game. Two players out of the game. While the others are around 100. And Vivi on the way to Imperial doing chain barding armor. Yes, if he just hold with this attack, that's it. He has two castles together. Together. But the plume marches while he's going to the other side. Just kill that caster, 48 HP. I think he's gonna kill with the plumes. I think so. Yeah, look. 
It's gonna kill a caster with plume arches. Are you for real? Kill it! Oh my god, 48 HP! Kill the fucking castle! Whoop! One shot will will be the castle down. He's gonna use the trebuchet. Good job. Now the blue match is doing the job, but he keep coming. Orange Teutonic tanks with crazy amount of paladins, which is very good. The castle finally is gone. He's really really gone. And with those blue marches, he's gonna be able to defend. I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure anymore. I now think that Austria is is getting this. <laughs> it's still crazy. It's still crazy game. Yes, because two players from each team are in a really weak position. But it's still LB10 and Lily are gone. Really gone. If they stop the paladins, that's it. But the thing is, they will stop the paladins ever. Whoa. I think they will. Because they have so many blue marches. So many damn blue marches. 70 blue marches killing the transport. Got it. He's gonna kill the transport or not? Go and kill it, man. It's important. It's not crazy amount of paladins. Well, he has paladins, but now camels. He's repairing the castle forever. He's coming with some magodites. Nah, he has no magodites. He, he don't even have castles. Now he's gonna defend. If he's repairing the castle and he's repairing, ay, 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 blue is coming from behind. Gonna kill a lot of villains from orange. Orange has 30 villains idle. They need to kill with this attack. If they don't kill with this attack, this is going to be over. But if they kill those castles, maybe they can go through in the economy. But blue, he's repairing forever is he gonna be able to repair forever he has a stone and a lot of damn villages they are exhausted like me casting these games but he is still losing all the magu dice and some paladinos he's going with the trap which is gonna kill the traps gonna kill the traps gonna kill the trap ba boom the trap which is killing the traps he's killing or not wow those trebuchets are worse than me with my micro no man, they can't, man, they can't kill, they can't kill the Chinese, look at this fight with a lot of paladins and the blue marches there, but now he's coming with camels, plus two camels, Teutonic tanks, he's losing the game here in this attack, he's losing absolutely all the paladins, little by little, I agree that he's killing some army, yes, but with the two castles and the blue marches, he's losing everything. Everything and with the traps, he's killing the other traps as well. Now he's coming with the ram. Let's see because he keep raiding, but the camels are coming little by little. He's less and less army. While blue is raiding from behind like a beep. Okay. Well, let's see. The, 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 he's still constantly pushing. The castle is almost down. He really need to save that castle. He saved the castle. He saved the game. He saved the castle. No, the castle is going to be down. Yes. Got it! Finally! But at what price? How many paladins left for Teutonic Tans? Teutonic Tans, zero food, zero coal, zero everything. Only, only a stone. I know that is risky, that I still tell him that China will win. But this is because China will win. The paladins are so expensive, and really, because CL is a... Ooh, well... <laughs> now that I check his resources, with 27 villages... <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong! Yes, and Memstradamus, it's absolutely on a bad prediction. I don't know, but the game is crazy. I still think that they will win, even with 27 villages. Why? Because the paladins are so expensive, and he's killing the castles. If he kills the castles, he will go to the economy. Ooh, okay. He's going to kill... No! Heavy camels plus four. Vivi, gonna save the day. This China is absolutely amazing team. They are at the very limit. They are fighting like crazy, and they are getting this. They are getting the game, man. What the hell? What the damn hell? Now he's sending the blue marches. They are going together with the blue marches and the heavy camels. Let's see. Look at Nadia doing a castle on that main goal. Awesome. But if you go and send the trebuchet, the castle will go down. He's gonna kill the trap. Yes. He's gonna kill the trap. Look at the combo now. Heavy camels and blue marches. Sending the trebuchet from behind. They are at the limit. I do agree that everyone is at the limit. But this migration map is just beautiful. Ooh, I'm sorry, but Leary has now two castles. Coming now from nowhere. Gonna make a TC. He's growing up a bit. 
but those Mago Dice are fully upgrade, okay, but really little amount of army. He's repairing now the castle. The Trebuchets are coming to kill that castle too. It's only one trap, so with those three Trebuchets he will do way more damage. Wow. The game is unbelievable. They are still not finishing the game. And purple, 74 population. BB is getting now really strong population as well. Is green coming back on water? It's gonna, it's gonna get the water green. 60 army. <laughs> He's fighting his own game. And now green, here, Jeffrey. It's gonna kill all the villages to Leary. Yes. Oh, wow. That combo, man. Heavy camels. Look at those. Oh, he's not repairing? He's not repairing that castle? He need that castle. He need more villains, but sadly he has no villains. Ha! Okay, he killed another castle. And now you need to kill the trebuchet. But he's not killing. Oh man, so many paladins now. So many paladins now. So many paladins. He's coming with the trebuchet. He's losing the castle. He need to go back. Ay, 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 ay. Is Austria finally gonna get the game or not? Or not? Or my, my damn prediction is gonna be there. I still think that if they have a bad fight, over. Over because the units are so expensive. But now the paladins should do the job. Baby is attacking. Now he's attacking, he needs to go back. Look at that micro. La, 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 la. And now the Trebuchet is gonna kill the castle. Yes, he needs to kill the damn castle. Those plumages are extremely strong. But he is at the very limit. 30 villages. With 30 villages and this link, he's holding. He's holding. And now the paladin is trying to kill. Look at this. Another trap coming. No, look at this fight. Teutonic. Teutonic is losing all the paladins there. Maybe not, man. Maybe not. Look at this. He did it, man. He killed absolutely everything. Fuck, and I was drinking water. What a noob. And now with the Mago Dice, he's gonna kill the Trebuchet and they are getting the game. I think so, man. I think so. Look at Teutonic, man. Teutonic dance for the win. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Stable. Another stable here. Why he's switching now to Cavaliers? Are you for real? Ah, Lear is now, is now doing the job. He has nothing, no villages, but with the sling, with 27 Mago dice and the what? What are you doing here? There's nothing. Okay, still green coming. What the hell? How these guys are still all in the game? <clears throat> yeah, Teutonic is playing really good. Well, but you know why? Because... He's always in my channel, and he watch how I play, and he just do the opposite. <laughs> and now, look at those blue marches with the Cavaliers, Paladins, and Magundais incoming. The castle is defending, but they are really at the, at the damn limit. Okay, okay, what is this? What the fuck, man? Oh, man, $10 subscription! Boys. BD, Paladin upgrade. Paladin upgrade. He will, he will join the party with the Paladins, but still, Paladins and Mago Dice against Paladins and Blue Marches. It should be better for for Austria, no? I think so. But it's, it's crazy. They're still, they still there, man. They're still around 100 population, and Jeffrey still fighting on water. He's gonna be able on water to do the job. Uh oh, oh. He's killing a lot to red. They should get this. I agree that they should get this now, but in the other side, they are also raiding. What the hell? No, man. Look at Bibi, man. Look at Bibi. He's killing all, all the Magundice, Bibi. Bibi going alone. And where is Teutonic Tanks? He's gonna lose the Magundice. Oh my god. Where is Bibi coming from? He has the same population. The same population that Teutonic Tanks. What the hell is this game? What the damn hell is this game? So many paladins and blue matches going to go together. Leary is going to a sling? What he's going to a sling? Okay, he has resources. Unbelievable. Jeffrey, Siege Rams. This is what they need, man. This is what they need. I keep telling all the time that that China will win the game, but you don't trust me. You don't trust me. Really, back and forth, back and forth, all the fight. They let the Archie range and the black and the barrack. Nope, they let it. 
He's not the Latin now. He's coming still with more Plume Marches. 67 Plume Marches. Jeffrey, 48. Nadia has on water. 83 military over one hour migration. Beautiful game to watch. Those crazy paladins. Now Vivi has the same army than Teutonic Tanks. How is that even possible? I have no idea. But they are fighting a bit better now. It's true that Lear is doing another castle. He's gonna be able to finish. I don't know. He has so many blue marches there. He's doing a really great job. And Orange is losing little by little all the paladins. Another problem is they are pushing here in this side. I'm telling you guys, China Frantic play like crazy. Like crazy. Yes, he has so many idol beliefs. And now the score is getting closer and closer, closer and closer, he's raiding, look at the amount of Magundice, yes, another castle, he's with so many blue marches, now coming with more paladins, not really, now with those blue marches he's raiding and killing a lot of villages everywhere, no, he's going all together, yes, you need to go, what the hell man, what the damn hell, there's no, no, no paladins anymore, do you see more paladins now from BB, this is absolutely unbelievable, unbelievable, Really, man. Leary really good ratio. But look at the ratio with Mayans. The Mayans is positive ratio with this fight against Magudais and Paladins. How is that even possible? The key here is that Teutonic Tanks, for example, 50-50% ratio kills dead with Paladins is bad. Why? Imagine how many Paladins he has lost during the game. Teutonic Tanks is doing the light cast. This is the key, this is the signal that they will lose the game. Light cast because no more resources. No more goal, guys, no more goal. This is absolutely, absolutely unbelievable game. Unbelievable game. You don't trust in my prediction like a caster, right? You don't trust, but I say many times that I, I think they have more map control all the time and more expensive units. The Mayans with a good combo is, is incredible civilization. Anyway, we see now Teutonic Tanks with 33 army, but what army? Is Paladins or now is Lightcaps? That's the thing. Now there's a lot of light caps, so not effective. The light caps against the blue marches die extremely easy. Crazy, crazy easy. I am on Teutonic Tan's point of view, but really, if Leary is coming from the hell now with the siege rams and Magundice, be careful, man. Be careful because this is good amount of Magundice. Good amount of Magundice. Whoa, whoa! Now they are going back to castle, so many blue marchers. This is crazy fight, man. There is no micro anymore. The population is still getting super, super close for both teams. Unbelievable. Well, the key can be also, is Leary going to be able to do the Mongols power? Is Leary possible? Yeah, Nadia, he's, she's killing a lot on water. Oh, look at Leary, man. He will need some help now. They are trading on the land? Oh, for real? <laughs> okay, I don't know. Well, but look at those, man. Look at those. And look at those Magundais, man. If BB is not going to stop the Magundais, my predictions will go to the hell. And then Austria, after a crazy game, will get the game. They need to stop the siege rams. The siege rams are unstoppable right now. They have so many blue marches, but be careful, man. Be careful, it's so many blue marches, I'm telling you. If he micro, if he killing Magundice, he is killing Magundice. There you go. And now you need few paladins there, and the paladins will, will do the job. Whoa, Teutonic tanks, really good population. Unbelievable population at this point. With what units? Still, a lot of army, but not so many paladins, mostly hazards. This is crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, blue is still holding with 51 bullets, 47 army, 100 population. And purple? What is purple doing? Whoop, whoop, whoop. He's slinging all the time. Now he's doing the pikeman upgrade. Are you for real, man? Are you kidding me? Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a game, man. What a game. They are unable to finish this. Unable to finish. Well, Leary. Leary has the Mago dice, but they are super expensive. Let's go to Leary point of view. He has no wood. Well, the wood is also really important. Another castle in the middle. 
Oh man, beautiful castle taking all the map control is crazy sick. The blue matches are there. Those Hazards, but Vivi is still with 126 population. Nadia is now starting to lose. Well, no more villages anymore. So Nadia will have resources. No man, he has uh, gold and food. But when she's out of, of wood, ay ay ay. Maguda is raiding. Maguda is raiding here to Jeffrey. Be careful. In the other side, let's focus. In the middle, he's trying to finish the castle. He needs to make that castle. That castle is gonna be important. Gonna be important and he's gonna finish, definitely. Definitely he's gonna finish. Is Purple gonna join the party with army? Maybe in the game? I don't know. Now population is just trying for everyone. Everyone. But Blue, that is the key in this game. It's now... What? What? He's finished the castle, man! The castle is 99%! God, is he finishing or not? With one last villager hero, 7 HP, he did the damn castle. <sighs> 70 population. Vivi, now the same population. Vivi, than Teutonic Tanks. Teutonic Tanks, no army. Vivi, 31 army. Leary, now no army as well. And Vivi, that is doing the castle kill, Leary, is killing all the villains. Look at Vivi, man. Look at Vivi saving the day. What the hell? It's going on. He's coming with the man and he's trying to get some map Austria here. But Red and now Jeffrey is killing everything. Everything. Jeffrey is coming with the siege rams trying to get all this map and he's getting. So now Blue is coming back again. And the, the look at the score. He's getting closer and closer. China is getting the fucking game, I'm telling you. This is too much, man. I'm gonna get a hurt attack, man. You don't trust me, man. You don't trust me. The game is so great. It's back and forth all the time, but now is Leary going to fuck a guy my predictions? It's possible, man. It's possible. Because he's coming there. Ooh, but the Galleons are killing the man when they go back, man. He's gonna finish probably that castle, but that castle is not that important. This is so important. They are pushing here. Now, Nadia, no population anymore. Nadia is getting destroyed on water. She's going to be bye bye on water soon. And then, when they get this and they are getting all this, bye bye the trade. Look at the map, guys. China has. China has. 60% of the map and another castle another castle guys soon blue will have more castles than villagers <laughs> oh my god yeah dg what i told you what the fuck i told you what the fuck i told you what the fuck i told you shit man and you don't trust me you were telling hey nice predictions nice predictions nah, nice predictions i say that it was going to win china fuck this man Trust the pro! Achievement. I feel good now. <laughs> I don't care who win, but I know he, they, they were going to win, man. They were going to win. I have spent 20,000 hours streaming this shit, man. Yeah, Candy Pizza. 105 largest army. The most. Leary. The most unit kills. For what? For loose. They lost the game. Why? I don't know, but they lost. <laughs> I'm dying, guys. Well, now seriously, the Blue Marchers with 88 army and Vivi coming back was crazy. Teutonic tanks needed, needed. My enthusiasm it will go to, 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 to die soon, Crazy Crow. But now seriously, I really think that they lost because Teutonic tanks, well, Austria in general needed a lot more siege. Onegers, for example, something to kill the Blue Marchers because Teutonic Tanks lost 566 units. And it can be 400 Paladins lost. It's possible. Guys, 2 0. Incredible game. Hope you really enjoy. Guys, third game Austria versus China Frantic. Go, go, go. Okay. Let's go. We have now, hopefully, please, no more restarts. We want to go and, and, and watch the games, man. But remember, the civilization, the civilization is so good, okay? It's so good. Yeah, man. Salva me. Salva me. 
want to vomit. Okay, let's check now the civilizations. We said before, but now since this is a restart, let's comment again to all the viewers. Korea, Mayans, Spanish and Persian for China that are on the right side. He's getting the board already. You can see how LB10 with Chinese start with 17 population already. And he start with 14, like I said. 14 or 15, I don't know, a lot. One, two, three, four, five farmers. So there's a lot of food and they will go in castle, it's, I don't know what. 11 minutes, 12 minutes. 13 minutes, something like this, everyone, right? He's facing a guy's Persian, what, what, what versus Chinese. Then the other flank, we have who? Who we have? Koreans versus Mayans. Mayans, candy pizza. Then green, Mongols, Liri, and Spanish, Teutonic tanks, Spanish and Mongols, while gray, Spanish team, and Mayans. Well, Mayans as a pocket, <laughs> it's so dangerous. Mongols. I don't like Mongols in this kind of maps. Why? Mongols is really strong, but they are slow, man. They are slow. Well, Koreans, I think they are stronger than people think. And you will see. It depends how you use the civilizations. Why not? Korean is really strong. It's really, really strong. I don't agree that Korean is even slower. It's even slower if you want to go, if you want to go, for example, uh, Mm, elite war wagons, see Chornagers in the start, but if you go fast, you can go Halbard DS directly, right? You can make the chemistry and directly with the chemistry done, you go Bombard Towers and you can gain, gain a lot of map control with other crazy fast civilizations because let's remind that they have Mayans and Persians combined with the Spanish that is also a fast civilization as well. Well, if not fast, it's good civilization, the Spanish, you know? So, I think they can make some great combo here. And remember that with Korea, you will get in Castellage those crazy towers upgraded with extra bonus. You can do a lot of stuff in this map with Korea. We will see if I'm right or not. Leary on the way to Feudal Age so fast. LB10 as well. Leary with 19 population, 19 villages, better say it. And we will see. Who said that he wanna. That he wanna go all the kills. And I'm telling you, KW1K, we are slow. We are slow with some civilizations. But these players are not that slow. I still think that Mongols is slower than Korea. Why? To make the Magundais, the Magundais in a strong, in a strong position, you need tons of castles. You need elite Magundai upgrade. You need bloodlines, part and tactics. Husband, Thumbrin, all the upgrades attack and an, an armor. A lot of a lot of time. While there will be Persians Paladins, Mayans Blue Marches. I don't know. You, we will see. We will see what happened. Of course, if the game go for a long game, Mongols is unbelievable unbelievably strong. But I'm not confident that that's gonna happen. Really, we will see. Well, He's facing Nadia. He's gonna kill the eagle. I think he will. Yes, he's gonna take it. Ballistic and chemistry. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> unbelievable. And Korea has 11 range onagers. Also, provide 11 range to all the team. I mean, 11 range. One extra range to all the team. Anyway, that eagle is gone. Or is going to be gone. My god, that scout is not super fast. Oh, now he need to be careful. Team is... It's gonna be in troubles. It's gonna be in trouble. Three scouts, gonna lose both villages, it's possible. Well, he's, he saved one village. Yeah? It's not terrible at all. Was a bit sloppy there. A bit sloppy, man. Blasmith. And now what? What he's doing, man? Want to make the market here? Or he's doing already? No, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's stable. He's gonna go aggressive. Awesome. I want to see this. I want to see this. He's gonna palisade maybe. And the kidneys are is out. Put the king on the castle. 
Like I said, Castle is 10 minutes. No, Castle Leary, 9 minutes 33. 9 minutes 33. Uh, wait a second, guys. Okay, four houses. Yeah, he's well in all. Let's see what the strategy they, they use. We can see that everyone is going to castle it. I'm just checking if there is someone going forward. We can we can check here the build order or, and so on. But this is so theoretical. I prefer always focus in the action. Because we can analyze here all the mathematics details. Well, four villages on goal, well the other, blah 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 blah. We need to see just if they are booming, if they are adding siege, monasteries, everything to do the job. And we can see that all are going for the economic upgrades, except Red that is going for the gold mining upgrade. That's amazing. What he's planning to do then? Let's move on. Happy, happy. Okay. 26 population. A lot of farms. These lumber camps. Two villages on stone. Remember, that's important. That you start with 150 stone. So if you want to make two extra stone centers, you need to mine stone. Usually you don't see that they do it the mining camp. They usually mine stone till uh, till they get 50 more, and then you you have the 200. But he did it, so it's his choice. Why you don't make usually? Because you you need that wood to make extra TCs. Yeah, they are walling everything, and uh, the TC is forward. What is Vivi going to do? Boom! One, two, three stone centers. All right. While Nadia, that he has extra TCs, only one, do you see? Aha! Uh -huh. Let's go candy pizza! So, only one extra tone center. While Vivi, two extra. How is possible when Mayans has better economy? Or you so- Oh! Oh! Leary! A sloppy boy! Lost the villager, man! Lost the villager! Ay ay ay! In one hour and ten minutes, Argentina will start. So basically, when these cities are finished. Everyone else is booming. We can see LV10 uh, booming with a really nice boom already. Something that is obvious and expected because China has the advantage in this map. But Persians, whoop whoop whoop, can recover fast and unpredictable. Why? Because this civilization, we all know Persians, how strong they are. And if you don't remember, let's go check the, the Persians. I love the music also. She has a stone. What, he, what she didn't have, it was wood. Now she has the 30 C, 1, 2, and 3 tone centers. Maybe he didn't have two, but yeah, well, she didn't have uh, wood. Now blue marches by by Happy Happy. Happy Happy is blue. Oh, be careful. Well, the eagle is gone. Now Nadia is doing the loom. Both are going conquistadors, which is nice. Both the Spanish are doing conquistadors, I mean. Let's see the rating. And now the blue marches. With fletching, yes, one has fletching, the other not. So you will need to go back. I believe that Persians boom will recover. Oh, that goal is exposed, man. He's really exposed if he's gonna notice. Well, this is team, so he don't need to notice. Oh man, team has how many Kongs? Nine Conquistadors, going aggressive. Well, Teutonic tanks only four. It's true then that if he's going so many Kongs, he has less villages. Teutonic tanks doing for a better boom. Well, actually, I see better booming coming from uh, from Austria right now. It's gonna work that in long terms. We will see. It's sold, right? It's gonna try to walk, but it's not gonna be able because Happy Happy is still there with one blue marcher. Haha, <laughs> smart boy. We can see Nadia with eleven, eight for Happy Happy. Vili is more for Nadia, you see? She was slower with the extra tone center, but he has more villages. Why? Because probably he was idle. Now we'll borrow for everyone. And another villain now. Oh, come on, Leary. Leary, the lowest population in his team. 
He lost already three units. Not terrible, but it can matters. Okay, let's see those cons. I think now Teutonic tanks will lose all the cons. Definitely, man. He has so many, man. So many conquistadors. Look at this. Oh my god, a, a pause. A little pause. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Look at the loots. The best medis medicine for a hangover is drink more. Because if you drink more, you will not notice very soon that you are hangover. Do you know what I mean? You drink more, you go super cuckoo, super extra hangover, and you will be dreaming like a baby soon. Take my advice. Okay, let's let's check, guys. No, it's truth, man. It's truth. I did in the past. Now I don't. Uh, let me check if they are a drop or what. Uh, the game keep going. Yes, let's go, man. Let's go. Those conquists, whoa, and they didn't wall, so the conks are there between, he, he can explore a lot. Oh man, if he's going there, Teutonic tanks will be in trouble. Will be in trouble. I, will, I ain't gonna focus now on team point of view. He need to explore on the other side. Oh my lord, LB10 will start to lose villages. One village down. Yeah, he's killing some. Another, another one. Wow, those conks are, are crazy. Then, I want to show you guys how Korean's BB is gonna play this one. I know exactly how he's gonna play, but I'm, do I'm not going to spoil. I have seen him playing with Korea in Rizia Fortress more times. Let's see, because if he's working like he did the times that I that I did, ay ay ay. Now he's, he's a bit of Titanic. Well, he's gonna make another castle. I want another castle? That's a nice castle. But if he's sending war wagons with oh no Fletchy, lucky, lucky her. Oh, gonna kill that? Got it. That was a sloppy man. LB10 on the way to Imperial. 22 minutes. Yes, LB10 on the way to Imperial. 22 damn minutes. 22 minute Imperial, there you go. Hello, Mr. Kim Marv. There's really nice Kim Marv. Good Kim Marv. Do you know what I mean? Good Kim Marv. Thank you for the donate to my this dad. Is, man. Happy belated birthday to a crazy good streamer. Thank you very much. Really damn appreciate it. Now we need to focus. Need to focus. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, LV10 with 81 population, and I will focus, man. I will focus. He deserved to be in his point of view. With 82 population, beating in Imperial 22 minutes, guys. Whoa! He's gonna go now Rams. Rams and Pikes? Probably. What else with these resources, no? But he's 77 villages. He's, he's not bad. He's really not bad. Let's see what he's planning to do. I think Rams and Pikes. But whoop, whoop, whoop. It's. On the way to Imperial, 23 minutes, guys. 23 minutes with 83 villages. More villages than TL. But to stop the hubs and ramps, what he's gonna do? Because if he's going to stable, nothing. Is he gonna go hand cannoneers? Leary, guys. With the slow Mongols, 90 population up to Imperial. But now we have Red, Vivi, 107 population. 107 population doing another castle forward. He has already <laughs> 22 minute 100 villages with Korea with one, two, three, four tone centers. And he's on the way to Imperial. On the way to Imperial with Korea faster than, uh, than Nadia. This is absolutely unbelievable boom one more time. And I have seen this already. It's a crazy boom. 
and blue is also coming. LB10 is coming with the halberd ears, right? But then gray will go with more and more conks. Look how many conks is killing here. Both are killing, but really team doing the job. Awesome. I am on team point of view. He is with war wagons and KW1K. Look how slow it's VB with Korea. Okay, awesome. Now he's gonna kill Villiers. There you go. He's killing some more Villiers and another one and another one. Two. And let's see because the push can be real. But he's going with Trebuchet. Now another. Eh, the Siege Warsop is coming. Cap runs. Be careful, man. I want to see this. Oh man, Wop is doing the Cavaliers. That's not gonna work, man, against Halberdiers. Oh, I like LB10 strategy. Wop, Wop, Wop can be in troubles, man. Let's go to Wop point of view. He will need what? Onagus and Hand Cannoneers? Probably. But now, he's raiding. And the Halves are coming, man. The Halves are coming. Halberdiers, man. You are not playing against a noob. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. But. Those blue marchers can save the day. Blue should send blue marchers to the left. Definitely. Oh, he converted one villager. Awesome. He can lose all the all the all the houses, the the market, the blacksmith. Lock. He's locked the gate. Let's see what 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 is going to do. He's there with the Kongs, he needs to go back, because he has, wow, one monk doing the job. Teutonic tanks on the way to Imperial, now the blue marches are coming, obviously. And here, Vivi, with 136 population, he's on the, is in Imperial, not on the way. But look at this, he's doing the walls, yeah, yeah, you can do whatever, but he's in Imperial, he will go travel jet. The game is getting so interesting, seems to be really close, but guys, Siege Rams already, man. Siege Rams already. Purple has seven army, Cavaliers, with plate bard in armor. But really, how you are going to stop this? I'm telling you how. No way. There's no way that you can stop that. What the hell? Just make walls. If you are not doing walls, whoop, 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 big damn troubles for him. I'm gonna lose the relic. He need to to a stone wall and he got nothing he need to put all together two marches and cavaliers but here what is Vivi going to do Trebuchet and gonna kill with that army the Mayans for sure he's coming with Mongols elite Mango dice but he's gonna find he's gonna find the surprise of the castles there you go okay if he's killing the castle to Nadia she's gonna be in big trouble if I were Nadia I don't know if I will keep going with blue marches but she can see that he sees in danger to lose the castle. Just go for eagles. I don't know. But here is inside LB10. Doing a great job here with the siege ramp with the halberdiers. But the blue marches will stop him. That's the problem. This is a team game. And blue, the other pocket is going amazing to the other side. While gray, switch, team is going to the right side. They play just fantastic. Look at the castle also getting closer. Just they just split, man. Cavaliers, blue marches. Cavaliers, blue marches. They will kill absolutely everything, or they should do it. While in the other side, the war wagons with three trebuchet. He's gonna kill the damn castle and crazy amount of war wagons, handsmen, the thunder, and everything he's doing. And whoop, he's doing the paladins. Imagine what they can do. Then he's gonna come with more blue marches, and Cray team will have what? Well, soon Cavaliers, Teutonic Tanks is a bit faster this time, that team, because he did more Conquistadors. But they still have... Oh man, you need to wall here. Wop, 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 he's housed. He's not paying attention. He's playing a bit, a bit slow in my opinion. Just wall, make houses, do something. But the blue marches, man, those crazy blue marches are saving the day. Now, he's coming, look at this, Leary with a huge boom, with crazy and super strong population, team is trying to send now Cavaliers and will send soon, but he need to go fast. Why? Because the Mongols with Siege Rams and the Elite Mago Dice, almost fully upgraded, not yet fully upgraded, and the Ferraris, the drill upgrade. Oh, Bloodlines. Okay. If he's killing those castles, Vivi will suffer a lot. He has a lot of War Wagons, but the War Wagons had like all the range units not as effective as uh, all the units against the siege rams. Yeah, he has so many villages, 144 villages, but only 23 army. 23 strong army, 
but uh, they just need to save those. I mean, if they stop their siege ramps, they are fine. But but Gray is not there yet. Team has basically no army, and he's surrounded Teal. Yeah, I'm checking the top monitor. It's a boss. They're still all in the game. Wow, all these bosses in the worst moment, man. Let's put this this is sin because it's a big boss. I don't want that anyone check the stream, okay? It's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. So, so intense what is happening there. So damn intense, really. <laughs> Maybe. What's up everyone, how you doing? Well, we need to wait a bit, okay? I wish I will show everything very soon. I need to show you, yeah. <coughs> to show you the... Hey, <laughs> what's up, Poison? Don't answer in the chat. Guys, learn to ask whispering, man. Whisper to the... Whisper to the... To the oh the game is going vamos well oh come on man really I'm sorry Benzema no time out people don't pure time out people that is spoiled time out time out stop cleaning the chat man Time out, man. Really, it's not new. It's not new people in the channel. Time out. Now let's go for here. The castle is down, but the knights. He just need to kill the rams. Killing the rams is the way to go. The war wagons kill everything else, but the magon dice are really damn strong. So now Lily should make the damage with the siege rams mostly. He's killing the castles. Yes, I'm gonna have only one castle, but those. Crazy war bagels are insanely good. Now the cavaliers are there. The damn pause is, is unbelievable. Anyway, this push from LB10, useless. Now it's useless. He killed both castles, which is really good. But the problem is, if he killed it, yeah, the cavaliers, that's it, because the war wagons are gonna kill those. Magu dies. They have he has a lot of army. It's, it's just crazy, crazy strong. Let's see. Now he still have a stone, he can make more castles, he should make the castle work. Exactly, a bit more at the back. But the war wagons are elite? No. He is doing now the elite war, war wagon at home, there you go. Lear is still coming with more siege rams, a lot of siege rams, but I still think that if team is stopping and going there with paladins, and the paladins are gonna happen really soon, the Paladin combined with the War Wagons will do the difference. Yep, there you go. Now coming with Onager. Is he gonna make Onager? No, he's doing Caravan, sending more Rams and more Rams and another castle. Awesome. In this spot, Paladins against helps only. Only. Where are the Blue Marchers? He's coming. That was a bad and bad move by Happy Happy. But they are still with really strong population, both teams. I will focus in these two fights basically, in this spot and in this one, right? Doing another castle. Blue has five castles in common, while Nadia only two castles. The big problem is gonna happen here if he's sending Paladin. If he's doing again two, three trebuchets, he's doing more Bombard Towers. And I'm telling you that the Vivi is playing really great. Leary as well, but Leary has so many villages. I'm going to Leary point of view. Even with those villages, you can see how he doesn't have the greatest resources. He has four castles, 38 army, he will need to gather more, and if he gather more, the Mongols power will do the job. I'm not sure. They have two range units. I really think I really think that Nadia will soon go Halbardias and Eagles. Why? Because he has the Mago dice. You don't need other other range units together. If you go together with the Mongols, go halves and eagles. Halves and eagles with with the Mago dice. Also, faster production. You can go combined to kill that combo stronger. In my opinion, at least. I don't know what you think. If there are some experts there, but I will go 
when you have all the range unit that is stronger, you know? Now there you go, and they are killing in this side. Why? Because the blue marches, the, the composition they have is way better. He's doing a castle in that spot. In my opinion, a bad castle. Why? Because he's in real danger. I will go for the castle here at home, try to mass army, try to mass army and as it. Well, happy happy is playing, is playing I impressive, impressive. And now, with Paladins and, war and uh, Elite War Wagons, how to stop that? I know that they have the Magon dice, yeah? You start to believe me when I talk about the, the about Korea? Do you see? He has crazy unit. He has Onegas plus 9. And he could have Onegas plus 13. 13, no, 11, sorry. <coughs> yeah. Now LB10 has 100 population. He's with 80 villages. He has now useless army, because that army is absolutely useless. For China, you will need two canoes, bombard towers, or house now. It's like nothing against those blue marches. And sadly for for Austria, this is I now with the civilization choice and how they are using game over. BB siege onagers, man, siege onagers, and elite war bangers in 36 minutes. And because he lost two castles, otherwise, whoa. This combo can stop this. I mean, my windows and blue matches can't do anything here. Nothing. Really nothing. This is absolutely total domination. Really. China Frantic plays so good in this in this game. In my opinion. Yeah, well, they are walling. Look at those palace and blue matches combined. They have just way stronger combos in both sides. Here, palace and war bag. And now Siege Honor is covering. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Siege Engineer, gonna be 10 range very soon. He killed one castle, now Nadia has only one castle. Good population, yes, 175 population. He's coming with the Siege Rams, more Siege Rams, but now Onagers, Bombard Towers, this is impossible. Delete the tower. Delete the tower, sorry. Yeah, look at those Palais now. Unbelievable. Wow. I, I will focus in the other spot, but I can. And I want to see here the Siege Onagers, because I want to see the blood. The blood it can happen really soon, but in the other side, look at this. This is gonna be total destruction because blue has 83 blue marches, elite blue marches fully upgraded. Yes, and here, as soon as they kill this castle for Nadia, what Nadia has? Well, now she's doing barracks. Bombard towers are really strong. And look at now. The war wagons, the siege owners are there with 10 range. 11 range already. 11 range, giving the siege shot. Yeah, and look at the trade from China. It's just unbelievable. Guys, because the other team is just 2.2k all, guys. That's, that's the problem. And then, at some point, there should be some difference with, with the individual skills as well. It's not only about decisions. Decisions is one thing, but then the, the individual skill is another. It's just a fact, man. <coughs> El Leary has no goal. He has only six straight cards, while the lowest straight is 14 in the other side. And look at the Siege Owner is now killing everything. Now we can see, the Halvard Vs are there, it's a bit late, because look at the amount of farming got Vivi and team. It's just unbelievable, look at the siege on us! Yes, he killed man, the owners, it wasn't like back in the days, but now they are being really careful man, they try to not lose with the siege on us, because they know that they will make a video. <laughs> But now he keep going, man. It's over. I mean, it's over. It's over because they are playing incredibly strong. Look at here, man. He tried a, a, a crazy attack, but then both pockets switched the side. In most of the of the games, or a lot of players, you see that they are stubborn. One pocket, one side. One pocket to the other side. No, man. These guys instantly move. Blue, the right one, went to the left. 
and, and Gray went to the right side. That's it. That's it, man. Awesome. <coughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's game over. I mean, I don't need to go now on crazy mode because the trade also is wow, it's amazing. Look at it in the minimap. You can see just the colors in the minimap. All the trade cards. Yes, China team place is really, really damn good. I'm really looking forward this this game versus Brazil. This game versus Brazil. Well, they don't resign because they still have some good population, but LB10 is completely bye bye. The king is there. No, where's the king? I want to see the king. Oh, come on, where's the king? In the other castle port, probably? Yeah, basically. <coughs> There's no confirmation time, but when it's gonna be, don't worry, because I will announce with time. Yes, it's ready side. For that reason, <laughs> do you think they are going to be open? The, I mean, he really thinks, he really think, literally, they are calling the GG, that they are going to be open? Then they don't know Chinese really well. Yeah, this is the GG. Alright. Let's check the achievements. Let's go for the achievements. They call the GG. A military frantic... CL, guys, only one thing, the opposite pocket went to the left, look at the ratio kills he did on LB10, this is the game, perfectly defined the game, blue 300 unit kills, LB10 300 unit loss, 111 kill, 105 loss, that say the game, that say the game, even red with Korea, look at the ratio kills, Aliri with Mongols, what I said when they started and you were wondering about the civilizations? Do you believe me now about Koreans? Stay tuned. That was 3 0, guys. 3 0. And one more time, guys. Thank you for joining the channel. We enjoy a lot together, I'm sure. And with AOC and with these great games. This is the fourth game. Look at the score, guys. Look at the score, guys. Look at the score. And it's say the difference between both teams. 3 0 right now. Well, LB10, Spanish facing against Grey, Mongols. Then, in the other flank, we have Hans Leary versus Hans Vivi. Awesome. He's gonna lay the board already? Mm, now they have to. Look at this. He's gonna lay more rot. Want to get the heal advantage. But he's losing two ships. Oh, but he's getting the, the scout war. That's nice. That's so nice for him. Now, he's checking this. And uh, let's see. Oh, this is good now, Leary. He take it back. He really take it back? I think he will. Who's winning this? No, he's winning, he's winning the Chinese. Team is winning. You see? He got it, man. And now Leary... Now Leary is not gonna explore. Let's see, Leary. It was obvious that the Chinese was winning. At least for me. Look at Leary exploration. So good, right? He cannot see his own boards. He cannot see absolutely anything. Anything. Yes, Argentina is playing today seven games. Because they played they played one game already against Brazil C. Well, taking the ships. Well, because Leary is not playing really great in this series either. Yeah, for sure. Well, uh, maybe maybe Nadia is gonna is gonna explore. Yes, she's exploring for him. He's fine. Well, he's fine now thanks to to Nadia explore, exploration. Uh, we have seen this in, in more games, and. Uh, Oh, oh, Leary taking the board with the villain. Yeah, now now he's recovering, man. He's really recovering. He did the loom and he's laying the board with that villain. 
to to Vivi. Smart play by by him. He played good, man. He really played good this time. All right. And now he's limit the boar, so he's gonna have the boar from yeah. And he need to find the the second boar. He find it as well. So he, now he got three boars and he's exploring with the ships. Awesome, awesome team. It's going to take the boar. What are you doing? Yeah, just pass out. Remember, four legs in the corner. Didn't mention, but it's obvious, right? It's so so obvious. Where he's going? To wall? Or Lear is gonna make a dog? He's gonna make a dog there? Whoa, that's gonna be that's gonna be tough. But he will try to make the dog directly in the other corner. Now blue, <laughs> this Chinese team is well. It's not only this Chinese team. Brazil, Vietnam, all the Chinese. Look at this. The pocket is finding the scout, the boar, sorry. And with the eagle, is limiting the boar, and he's gonna give the the boar to team. Definitely. So now they are fine. Oh, he's doing the dog, but he, no, what he's doing is walling. Okay. He's doing the dog. I was finding weird, weird that, yeah. But he was going to make the dog forward. Yeah, this is make more sense, really. Now red, oh come on, team is trying to go sneaky mode, but, but he's the oh the wolfie the wolfie I the wolfie the wolfie is gonna let's see if Leary can see that village. He's focusing in the wolf. The village is coming. He's gonna see it. He's gonna see it. Did he see it or not? Yes, he did it, man. He did it. But his villager is not full HP. Oh my god. He's trying to. But the scout is saving the day. He's saving the day. Team is gonna lose that villager. Just go back home. Go back home. But that is scout. No, what are you doing? Why he's not she's not killing the villager? I want to cry. Well, I like this. LB10. LB10 is sneaky mode. On gray, on gray, team, team, lake, and purple. Okay, Vivi is going with the villain back. He's inside again. Oh my god, he's inside with the eagle. With the eagle support now. Well, it's two villains with the eagle and the scout. Maybe, maybe they are going to do the job. No, man. Well, United States last night played, in my opinion, pretty good, man. Awesome. Awesome, if you ask me. Really? Yeah, yeah, I know. This is Vivi. Vivi, sorry. Team is here. Gray. Team. Yeah, maybe I, I just got confused. I still tired. I'm sorry. Vivi is, all, is red and two villages, man. What the hell? What the hell? But Nadia, you can kill it. It's six... 14 HP, you see? Oh, come on. He's two villages, man. Oh, oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. He's sending, he's not letting him, but he's gonna make the dog. He's, he's doing the dog, man. He's just doing the dog. 100%. He should do it at least. Lear is gonna go. Palisade or not? Yes. He's doing the Palisade, VB. There you go. Oh, what are you doing, man? Finally, he did it. He did some wrong moves, but the dog is happening. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> are you kidding me, man? What the hell is this, man? So sloppy play. So damn sloppy play. Well, he's gonna finish the dog or not? Finish the damn dog. Are you kidding me, man? This... Vivi Titanic? For real? Make the dog or not? Please lose the village. You deserve to lose the village. Lose oh, he did the dog. Shit, man. He deserved to lose that village. But he did it, man. 9 HP and he's up. And now he's gonna make the damn galleys. What the fuck? Lucky. Lucky boy. Whoa. And in the other side, two dogs. And now team is doing a tower. But the tower is gonna help? I don't think so, man. 
I really don't think so. And now Teutonic Tanks losing the Eagle. But the tower is gonna happen. Yeah, and now, well, LB10 is bye-bye. He lock, he dug, he dug in, uh, in Mongols Lake. In Mongols Lake, never do that. So now he has two dogs for nothing. Losing the fishing ships, this is basically, how to call it uh, in a polite way, game over. Well, not game over, but LB10, economy. With the Spanish, you can see his economy. Let's go to LB10 point of view. Well, struggling, big time, gonna make the mill, no fish. So you can imagine the advantage that purple and gray will have. What the hell, what the hell. And now, with the galleys here, well, two dogs, yeah, but he's using all that here. And now, red, what? Stone walling? Okay, look at Vivi walls. Awesome. They are, wall they are walling everything. It's gonna make more, more galleys. Oh, let's check. Let's check Vivi. Yeah, he's doing more. He's mining a stone to wall everything. Now, Gray has got the water, which is very good. And Teal has now no fish. Then Nadia and Orange in the same lake. Oh, Nadia is in both lakes. Oh my god, this guy. What the fuck? Oh, this guy, this baby, this baby was was a sloppy boy. But look at this. Oh yeah. Record, man. Record of subscribers in the channel. One more time, this is unbelievable. Getting closer to the four damn hundred. Hopefully, it's gonna be because we're gonna get another new damn emoticon. And you know that the emoticons in this channel are sick. <laughs> Thank you very much, NHN Forever. A guy subscriber, man. He's a Spanish guy. Thank you for subscribing. And look at this, man. What? What is this? Oh, moves! Moves! 100! Oh my god! Sorry, I missed your birthday yesterday, so I have to wish you a late happy birthday. Go, Thank you. go, go, sexy beast. Thank you very much, Mr. Mobs. You missed it. an amazing, amazing Saturday, man. But you are here. You are here for the Sunday. Thank you, Mopey. Mopey 100. Well, we can play if we have time between these games. I can play for the last time. For you, the video that the Lover Boys did it which can be great. Now we can focus on water and here Vivi with the two. Yeah, he can get the water, he's getting the water and killing the fishing ships, that's the thing, right? But red has no fish, right? No, no fishing ships, but he's doing the damage on yellow. Yeah, he, he definitely did damage. Nadia, it's with one stable, one stable and fishing ships in this one. Okay, are you kidding me? Well, seems that uh, no fishing ships either, so at least LB10 got the fish, which is matters a lot. It really matters a lot, but a lot of galleys, man. Maybe so many, so many galleys. Even too much? Probably. Let's go to team point of view, and he has no economy. Actually, he has no fishing ships, so it's going to be complicated that he's going to have resources to go up. Unbelievable. <clears throat> I don't know if I can surprise. 48? What is this? Oh, yeah. Thank you for the subscription. Awesome. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. And now, more and more galleys coming. What are they going to do? Leary, it's on the way to Castle Age, man. With the market and so on. Leary, who have now the advantage. Ay, ay, ay. Leary also in that lake. They are trying all to, to take to take the fishing ships. They are really trying. So, almost no fishing ship for anyone. Except, guys, Teutonic tanks. Teutonic tanks, in this game, suck. So kill everyone. Why guys? Mayans doing the castle. 35 villages. Two tone centers. That he has another. 
Look at Teutonic Tan's food. If he's gathering the gold, look at his resources. He can go Imperial fast and unpredictable. This would be game for Austria. If Teutonic Tanks is playing good, definitely should be. Now Knights inside, because they are not wall, man. Team is not wall. He's doing the market because he has, he has no resources. He's doing some farmers. He has the water control, yeah, but the water control is not that important anymore. Whoop, 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 going with some conquistadors. But really, Orange with 62 population should make the difference. He will, three tone centers, three tone centers and 19 fishing ships, man. Whoa, man, that's a lot, man. You can see that the fruit he, he has is, is, is amazing and he keeps doing the production. Now Vili is from, uh, from, from Nadia, killing a lot. I don't know how they are still leading the score. He has so much points because he killed a lot of water, but that's that's fake, man. Fake. Now the Kongs are coming. Well, we will see if he's gonna save him with the Kongs, but uh, team 38 Vili's. He lost good amount of, of Vili's. Market? Market of water? What are you talking, man? <laughs> He's trolling. They have wall. And Nadia is doing more damage or not? Oh, man! What's happening here, man? Ay, ay, ay. Well, the multitasking sometimes. The multitasking. And now, Philly is down. Hello, everyone. Juerno, how you doing? Well, Timmy is, is in troubles, man. He's in real troubles now. And what is... Lear going to do? Is he booming with the hands? Uh, let me check. He has almost no army. His army is on water. Okie dokie. And booming. Perfect. Okay, Lear is booming while Vivi is gonna be now in Castellage. But what he's gonna do now in Castellage, we will see. What I want to see also is what Blue is going to do. Well, Blue that is in Castellage with, guys, 80 population and I regret what I said. I said that they should win because Orange is in a good position. I forgot that Blue is 64 villages, 10 villages ahead and 16 fishing ships. I'm sorry, but this time that's unbelievable. But let's go to see L. He has no resources, while Orange, Teutonic Tanks, it's 26 minutes. Make us a minute of silence. 26 minutes on the way to Imperial. On the way to Imperial, unbelievable play here. Well, he should do the job. Four tone centers, you don't need four tone centers. You need an army now. He's doing eagles, the barracks, the Obamas, but where is him? With blue matches going inside? Come on, man. You need to get this game, Austria. You really need to get this game. Now, doing the barracks. LB10 Castle Age. Well,. He will be in Imperial while team it's going to Castellage now. Now, he's on the way to Castellage. There you go. But I will focus on Teutonic. Come on, man. Okay. Oh, but you need to get inside. That, that's for sure, because if they wall. I, I, I. Nah, but I think it's gonna be possible. More barracks. Let's see if he will start to, to make upgrades. He's doing eagles already. Doing the chainmail armor. He need, still need more food. But he has good amount of farms. He's doing the farmers. This is huge advantage, really. It's huge advantage. Or it should be. ZL is also... Wow, we saw how he played before. Look at CL, happy happy. In Imperial, on the way to Imperial. Nadia on the way to Imperial as well with the Mongols. But the Mongols can compete with, with the Mayans in early Imp? I don't know. Conquistadors and Grey now need to wall because Orange is in Imperial. He will have Elite Eagles, well he does Elite Eagles almost now, but Siege guys, Siege, no Siege, no win, okay, no Siege, no win, population still ahead for, for Blue, El Dorado instantly 100 HP Eagles, but you need to mass units, and like I said, Siege, 
You are not going to break the walls, then Leary will die very soon. And I think he will die. Oh my god. <clears throat> so, let's see. Let's see to if this game that is now really closer and under negative circumstance, if China is gonna play again as a strong. Is he gonna wall all this? Because he really need to do it. Wop is gonna make a lot of stone walls. Yeah, man. There you go. But this is open. This is open? No, it's not open. Because yes, yes, it's open. It's open. He's walling everything. Look at the eagles. Look at the eagles. He's coming. He's coming. But blue. But purple. Is he walling? No, 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 no. no. He got inside. Vamos, coño, make the damage with the damn eagles in the last second, one tile, and this is open still, it's open the bag with the gate, is the eagles going to kill, the conquistadors are killing, stop killing the villains, kill the Kongs, are you for real, but he's not doing any damage man, send more eagles, send more eagles before he's walling, he's gonna wall, He wall it, man. He wall it. Everything. And now, here, CL, one, two, three, four castles. Four where I shut up. I say nothing, okay? It's over. Already? Well, you see the score. But you will see what CL is gonna do here against Leary. Gonna destroy Leary and Nadia together. Both. Both will kill. Even if the score is like it is. I think blue will do again the party. Again the party gonna happen. Yes. Fortified walls probably. <laughs> Most likely. Those conquistadors are defending really really great. Still killing. The ramps is happening. Elite Mago dies Nadia, but Nadia has one castle. One castle against one, two, three, four, five castles. He's doing the second castle, maybe. In time, maybe. We will see. But I think that Leary, by the time that she's doing the army, Leary will be completely dead. Completely dead. Ay ay ay. Well, Petars. He's going with Petars. That can be good. That can be good if he's able to raid, but still have Conquistadors plus two. No bloodlines. And uh, the Eagles. Okay, let's see. How many petards? Yeah, he's sending the petardos. Okay, this is a good spot. Go, go, go. This is so many damn eagles. You should do the damage now. But patrolling, man, patrolling. Okay, Blue is destroying Leary, like you can see. Leary is going more and more down. He's the lowest population right now, but I will keep focus here. The eagles are inside. The party, the raiding party should start. Because Wop, the turtle, like Nick of said, he should make some more walls. Now he's being smart, sending villages inside. And to be honest, Teutonic Tanks is doing the great cities, man. Great cities in this. In the, well, in the nation's cap in general. Probably we know him less than others, but he played really good, man. Really good. Now he need to micro. He has the TC, the castle, and the cons. But those eagles are strong enough to kill absolutely everything now. Everything. And the raiding now is beautiful. With so many eagles, he's doing the job. 173 population. He's gonna kill a lot. But Leary, it's bye bye. And Nadia, still 8 army. 8 army. 8 army against. 50 blue marches. Okay, well, maybe 48 and one trebuchet or two trebuchet. Well, LB10 is on the way to Imperial, but Wop 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 is on the way to Imperial as well, but is on the way to Imperial with really low population because now Orange is gonna raid team. Oh my god. Did they sling again? Zero sling. Tributes. Send receive. Zero. Nothing. Let's go back to check this here well uh, 71 population Leary come on go back to the main panel I'm missing Nadia come on Nadia we love you but make army make army and help here siege rams siege rams and kill these castles well he's gonna, he's gonna lose these castles he has only one castle and not attacking but orange is doing a amazing job killing well basically two guys great 
and purple because purple it's really damn down 79 population is as slow as slow as leary right now i don't mean that leary is slow it's just it's low okay now candy pizza nadia with the siege rams she can do the job but orange should join the party a bit sending with the rams the eagles and that's it if they kill the castle to blue definitely they can win the game but guys how is china leading how is china leading because bb will join the party with cavaliers already and remember what happens cavaliers and blue marchers against magundais and eagles what do you think because it's not gonna be only cavaliers bb will, will do paladins now the blue marchers are happening are going to help and try to well team is still 113 population the rating is real and so many eagles 71 eagles but if the game keep going a long a long game look at nadia with only 11 army nadia gonna lose everything basically because she got nothing blue marches and cavaliers killing four rams and 10 mago dice come on nadia what's going on why no army she has one castle trebuchet blue marches team on the way to imperial even under the rating but now lv10 should do the job cavaliers plus four team no sorry vv paladin upgrade paladin upgrade what the hell now they are going to kill nadia definitely going to kill nadia the other the other problem the austria has is that seems that um, china is moving it's moving all you can see their base or mini base they move so well and even with the rating you can see how team is stealing 115 population that's the key in this one that they are still with good population otherwise they will have won the game Wop is true that Wop is it's slow i mean it's slow it's really low 100 population but like leary so the game is again really really close but here the combination with palace and blue marches will make the day again lb10 where he's gonna send the army is he gonna push on team or he will go to the middle because i think lb10 should come here if he's coming here with eagles mago dice and paladins they can stop but i insist nadia need more army she's doing now three castles in the same spot nadia resources what the fuck man what the fuck these resources you get 60 mago dice with these resources i will need a psycho after this series I will need to go to the doctor. <sighs> blue marches and trebuchet. Blue marches and trebuchet. And so many blue marches. And look at the paladins. He has, yes, so many resources. Many resources. Still need wood? Well, buy some wood. Now, bloodlines and husband. What the hell is going on? 41 minutes. Make more army. But now they are joining the party. Paladins, eagles, and few mago dice then he need to go back to the castles because they have definitely more army the problem is that team and purple will recover a hundred percent yes because orange is not killing anymore he did the gate and they are recovering their population is getting stronger again so population now is really close but here is a really really good fight it should be a good fight for austria good amount of paladins and the eagles but vb always coming with a lot of paladins and two castles doing the job with the arrows and a lot of blue marches but still austria here is taking a really really good fight team party and tactics we will see team with the magunda is what he's gonna be able to do he has now one castle it's still slow because he was getting so much rating and let's go to team point of view team has no stone and not resources now nadia is still with only 12 army come on man let's go to her point of view again crazy resources and now she's doing a lot of mago dice okay let's see if he's going to join the party with a lot of army then austria can do the job but another paladin civilizations will join the party okay i guess he's from austria i don't know paladins caravan Okay, and she has stone to make another castle. Yeah, getting uh, within resources by LV10. Strong play there. <clears throat> but this blue player, happy happy, is just playing <laughs> so good, man. So good. Well, now Leary is there with Cavaliers. Cavaliers, they are doing the markets. They are trying to 
to get some good economy, but still, Nadia so low population, Leary low population as well, all the other Chinese are now ahead. Blue marches, a lot of blue marches, paladins. Yeah, th those Magnodes are fully up right now. Sisu dominate now, but 20 army is still, while team 20 army as well. Yeah, siege rams. And team has how many castles? Only one castle. Yeah, with one castle, you're not gonna do anything. A guy in blue has 91 army. And you can see how Teutonic tanks, Teutonic tanks army has right now. He has only one castle. The eagles are now not effective anymore. Anymore. The eagles are useless now. Really damn useless. The paladins kill everything. So if Teutonic tanks is not switching, when purple and gray will join the party, they will, they will get the game for sure. Now team is ahead in population to Nadia, yes, he has 21 army, 16 fishing ships, so many villages, but he need more army, definitely. What's he trying, is he trying to go to, to, to what, to find a hole on, on a Chinese wall? That's a joke, man, that's not happen, that's never happen, <laughs> or almost. Oh, but he did great now, killing a lot of villages on that castle, but here, blue, still pushy, man, like always do, it's great. He barely have villages. What he has is six, six castles, man. Six castles, unbelievable. Yeah, and team. Now, with purple, okay, he's trying to join the party. Purple is gonna have more army than LB10. No, basically they have the same. He want to, to take that stone? Yeah, he has no stone. Oh, he's sending siege rand, but he need army now. Where's team? Team has two castles, he's doing the Magnodice or not? Let's go to team point of view. No, he has no resources yet to make. He has a stone to make another castle. What the hell he's doing another castle? Okay. Purple has so many paladins. So many damn paladins. And now, blue marches and Vivi, red. Oh my god, Vivi, 60 paladins. And Nadia still with 33 Magundites. Now, they are winning here. They are definitely winning here. Why? Because Vivi, a guy with so many paladins and blue marches, are gonna take this fight. And with the trebuchet, they will start to kill the, the castles. And it will be over. Then, they're raiding now on, on Teutonic Tans as well. Yeah, man. Where is Leary also? Leary didn't recover. No, Leary has, guys, 36 bullies, man. Leary has been destroyed during all the game. Wow, 60 population. I was focusing this side, but they raided Leary for real. It's game over again. Unbelievable. In my opinion, this time Nadia was really slow. And Teutonic Times did the damage, did what he could. But Leary was really, really, really low. He got so much damage. That they are losing all. Let's go to Nadia. Yes, he still has great resources. But... Yeah. Team is now doing a lead my guys. And purple is destroying here, they are calling the GG man, they are damn calling the GG, they just wait, because now China is SY versus Argentina, is happening, wow, achievements, military, uh, you can see a guy in blue man, playing crazy, almost 100 army, Leary, bye bye, team was low, but, these guys combined, make the job, Teutonic Tans at the end lost a lot of units, he was doing a great job, but Nadia, I'm sorry, she was slow, in my opinion, with the Mongols there, because she wasn't, she didn't get any troubles, and she was slow, well, slower than the others. Mongol civilization is a slow civilization, that's also truth. Guys, 4 zero. more games in common. I will try to make the best casting possible with Argentina, China, SY, vamos amigos! Vamos, he's working the transition, no, that's not working, or this working, yes, he's working, vamos, there you go. Welcome everyone, welcome to the channel, the new people that is joining. I don't know if you know the channel for so long or you just discover hope. You really know long ago and now you decide to join the Lover Boys. You decide to join the Lover Boys. Well, this is the way to go. We have now, I don't know. No, we have 461. No, those are the, the amount of viewers. We have 380 and uh, gonna be really soon a new emoticon. I will tell you how much we need to, to get another emote very soon. But now the most important is the action. We have Hansen is Aztecs and Spanish. 
Oh, now I notice that they have also, oh no, I said before, they don't have Chinese. Hans, Spanish, Persian, and Aztecs. Well, Chinese is a good, is a good uh, civilization to have like a bonus. And um, Aztecs flag again. Wow, this is beautiful, man. Aztecs versus Aztecs. Aztecs, Paladin versus Aztecs. FedEx, beautiful, really beautiful. On the other flag we have, what? Mr. Yo, no, 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 sorry, Leaks. Again, Spanish versus Yellow. Patin. And he's laying me the board. You see, guys? He's laying me the board. Oh, oh, oh. But no, he's a stop it, man. He's a stop it. He didn't. He, but he's gonna make it, man. He's gonna make it. He's going. Wow. In desperate mode to get the board, man. He really wants to get the board, but he's gonna lose the scout. Oh, man. This is so close. He's gonna send. He should send a villager. He should send a villager. He's sending the villager. Look at this. He did it, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Finally. I can't wait to become the 100 oh! plus 100 plus 100 plus 100. So good. So good, man. So good. BTW? So good, man. But super skinny BLS, you have been one of the viewers that has spent more hours in my channel. Finally, finally, you took that decision. Love you, man. I appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Now you really have beautiful emotes. <laughs> And now look at this. He got he got the boar. That's fantastic. The flanks and the pockets. Let's take the pocket fast, Mr. Yo Hans. Guys, you're going to see who is better. Mr. Yo Pocket Hans. Nikov Pocket Hans as well. Nikov. Yes. So we have Yo versus Nikov. Of course. In the other side, Monos Spanish is a great pocket too. But Chinese, this number two have played so damn good as a pocket as well. This is going to be, in my opinion, one of the best matchup possible between those two teams. I mean, with the positions in, in the game, right? Let's go. Now taking the board, but the limit is real. The only good thing for Patin, if there is a good thing, is... Did he, he didn't find the damn board? Well, he has the board there, he's going, okay, Doki. The good thing is that he's Persians. Persians, since they have a great economy, one of the best economies in the game, maybe, maybe, they can be decently okay. But what he should do, since they are so damn close, is push the DS and wall instantly there. Wall that gap for sure. He should do, and, and wall it. Oh man, oh man. Okay, let's see. the board board under the TC there you go and pushing the DS if he puts couple of DS he's fine but <laughs> Paltesa oh my god oh, yeah. come on man Paltesa is really you'll never regret the 400 Paltesa is really 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 long old viewer man awesome man awesome that you join it too fantastic don't leave or or I will find you <laughs> Paladin only 15 population? No, Paladin is there with what? Oh my god, 17 pop. Is, is one be behind? Did he lose it something? Oh, he's trying to lame. FedEx lost one population. How is possible then? Well, Paladin probably was idle TC. No, probably no. He was idle TC because FedEx losing a villain. Look at the dead body. Do you see the dead body? If you don't see, I will try to make the zoom. In the TC, do you see the dead body? It's there, okay. And uh, with one villager lost, we can see how FedEx is ahead to Paladin. So the Dark Age, pretty bad. But guys, this is this is a bit unbelievable, man. A bit unbelievable. I'm telling you something, uh, Nikov, Nikov, it's going to go as scouts against Mr. Yo and against Lix flank. Why do you go scout with the Huns? Well, let's see if Nikov, I will go to Nikov point of view. He's going to scout two lumber camps and uh, we're gonna find out very soon. Okay. Look at this. He's doing the barrack. Patin is going up, like I told you, it's even faster up, it's even faster up than Leaks, man. 
And he's gonna wall. Good job. He's walling everything. You need to wall, definitely. And he's gonna wall. Yeah, he's walling everything. And we have Barak and a stable going to scout. Let's see. Let's see because he got all the deals already, so his economy is gonna be good. He's doing the double with axe. And Mr. Yo is gonna go for the standard one. His map. Absolutely beautiful. Palisade here wall. He can make the barrack and the stable here or even in that side. It doesn't matter. I will wall here and make here the barrack and the stable. And then he should go all around. But still, uh, let's see, man, because I don't know, man. They can go with the scouts. Look at that area. He's going to go aggressive all leagues, but really. This is gonna be complicated. Really, really damn complicated. Now we can see how FedEx is walling everything. His map is extremely open. But Gray is coming with all the militias. Paladin, after a bad Dark Age, is going aggressive. He's gonna take those deers. Okay, Nico Fog of War. He can see everything. He knows absolutely everything. And he can do the job. Let's see if he's gonna make it. Well, the tower is coming, but Patin. Make another house. Make a damn other house. Stonewall? Forget, man, it's 1 HP. Now a Stonewall. Yes, go, go, go. Do it faster. Do it faster. Come on, Patin, faster. There you go. Gonna lose a villager now? But 150 HP. He didn't lose it. Whoa, he saved the villager. He saved the villager. But the scouts from Nikov are doing the job. Are doing the job killing villages to leagues. But I'm afraid. What I'm really afraid of, Mr. Yo, man. He's palisading this and he's building here in that area. Exactly like how I say. And the men at arms are inside. Now, with Patin, wall yourself. He's not walling. He's not walling the tower. Oh my god. Oh my god. This can be absolutely terrible. Now he's coming with the forest scouts. You need to go help fast. But Nikov is trying to go with the forest scouts. He's streaming at times. He needs to make more villages. Send down more villages. Oh man. Oh man. This is looking bad already in this flank. The, the tower is not up. He's gonna lose the villages or what? The Spanish buildings are faster. Ay, ay, ay. Put the villages inside. Lost two villages already. Three villages already. And now four. <coughs> now you you start to understand me, but Nikov is doing the job, killing villages to to leaks. Okay, the problem is Mr. Yo, 15 minutes. Castle age. 15 minutes. Yes. FedEx will be fine. We'll kill all those militias. And now he's killing more and more villages. Nikov is doing the job. Definitely doing the job, of, of course. But now look at that tower. Absolutely useless. He should palisade if he's not palisading. Big trouble. Well, he has arches and skirmishes. So go with the arches and skirms. Is he mining gold? Of course not, because he lost it. Now he's not doing any palisade. Brazil C is all 2K plus. Brazil C is all 2k players. Look at this tower, man. Wow, zero economy. Make another house. Well, do you feel that Patin is under the pressure? Slow. Or slower than the other players. And there is a pause. Well, Argentina and Brazil have played already one game. Okay. Yep. Okay, now, 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 now he's taking those. Good job, but two farmers that you need to the lead now. And more towers incoming. Now Nikov is there with good amount of scouts, but he did the stable. And look at Mr. Yo. One, two, three, four, five farmers. I guess Nikov will have resources to, soon to go up. Yes, he will. This is a lot of scouts. He's trying to go and now make the damage on. Oh, Mr. Yo. Well, Nikov is playing like he usually does. Amazing. Now he killed the scout. Look at the micro. And, 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 and. He need to palisade. But he can't palisade everything. Now he's going to make the damage in some villages. He's trying to do. He can pick some villages. No, he didn't. He's going away with six scouts. And his resources. Nikov resources are awesome. Awesome. He will go up very soon. But it will be in time to make the damage. Well. Oh, oh. But Patin reaction is awesome as well. Look at those. Who's gonna kill villagers? He's doing the job on the wood. There you go. Pity that he doesn't have the fletching. 
Yes, because now he's doing the damage. Good move there by Patin that he is relocating his resources. He's taking the goal. Good play there by Patin. Good job. Didn't stubborn. But now, one is stable with the knights. Make a spears at home or ay 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 ay. In the other side, we can see how FedEx, 46 population with those archers, Nikov, Nikov on the way to Castellage. 19 minutes with his scout. It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. He lost some scout now expected. But oh let's see man. Ah uh, the let the let this don't lose Billy's like this. Please, please, please. Lost it. Lost it. They let the two farmers use everything. Don't be sloppy, but look at now the arches. He is doing another tower, but he killed another village. Guys, leaks 27 villages. 27 villages. Nikov in Castellage is gonna make that he's going doubly stable. He's doing the bloodlines, and he will have a really good economy to spam a lot of knights. To spam, but the knights from Mr. Yo are coming. So please, please, Mr. Mr. Patin, make a spears. Make a spears, and also you need to, to mine probably a stone. In the other side, we can see that Monos with the knights is gonna do the job. But green, sloppy FedEx, you need to go forward with the knight with the archers. Oh, but they are inside! Ay, 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 this is getting nice! This is getting so nice! The knights are coming! This is archers versus archers with plus knights. So, so Argentina is taking the lead in the score, and now a good position here to make the damage on Paladin. Are they going to do the job? Let's see if they are going to work together well, because if they get inside here they can definitely do the damage in the other side you can see another damn tower oh man where's your archers bring the archers mr patin no archers ay 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 now moving all this he don't find a stone well he has a stone there he should oh a stone now finally patin is doing a, now a good job but he's there now mr yo is there with the knights you need to send the knights really fast nikov He's doing, he has double stable while Mr. Yo only one is stable. He's doing the TC, perfect TC actually, to protect the goal. And the Knights with bloodlines, go, 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 and take Mr. Yo. Yeah, they are going to be fine. And Patin has actually three villages more and 11 army. Oh, 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 but Nikov is there. Yes, Nikov is there. He's gonna save, he's gonna save the day. He's with bloodlines, remember, he's gonna take those. Yes, not a big trouble, not a big trouble. One tower here for Patin, another in the wood, and they are in a good position. In the other side, we can see how Monos is defending to FedEx. I don't know, man, but Argentina, Argentina is in a good position right now. Remember also that Patin is Persians, but Fenshin, Castle Age, faster than FedEx. Fenshin with 38 villages, FedEx 42, and the same army. No big deal, then, no big deal. They playing safe right now, and Nikov is chasing the knights. Go and stop it. Oh, they're gonna, he's gonna take this little fight. Now he's also attacking with the scout. He didn't notice, he noticed, so he's getting some idle time. Population is almost the same between Mr. Yo and Nikov. And in this side, he has army now, gonna kill those men at times. Definitely, those towers are really annoying. If Patin has a stone, uh, make a tower here. Really, I will make a tower. It's not kidding, it's a man at times, doesn't matter. He should try to attack. Look if he's sending here archers. If he's sending archers here, Orange will die. Because if he's letting Orange go to Castellage, then he's in big trouble. And he will. Look his economy. He's doing the market. He's gonna buy their resources. And he will go up to Castle Age. Ay, ay, ay. Well, Nikov tried to, to make the damage. One, two, three tall cent is crazy amount of farms, two stables with a spam knights, probably. He's doing the job, man. He's doing the job. He's gonna kill that tower. He just need to send the archers. Where's yellow archers? At home, a scary movie. There's no army. He should go and push. In the other side, ay, 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 walling, walling, walling in the last damn second because purple is inside. But he wallied everything. Now gray is coming. No tower. FedEx gonna lose. Everything. Everything. I don't want to see this because he's gonna lose a lot of villains if he's not reacting fast. One villain down, two villains down, three villains down, four villains down. Crazy, crazy bad move by FedEx. Why FedEx don't, don't have another tower? Because he doesn't have any stone. Any stone. He has the market, but now FedEx 
it's dying. He is definitely dying. Leaks on the way to Castellis. Nikov destroying Leaks. That's true. But FedEx in a terrible position now. In a really bad position here. Monos is going with a lot of knights. More knights. More knights than China number two. But number two is also with a better boom incoming. Be really careful. Oh man. Nikov and Mr. Yo facing each other. Nikov the same population almost then. Than Mr. Yo. Well, Nikov is playing like he usually does. Awesome. As a pocket. Helping all the time. All the time. But they need to recover this, really. Because Leaks will do what? Will do what? He's trying to make a castle on his face. Yes. He's trying to make a castle on his face. Well, we will see. Anyway, Orange 33 villages. So damn behind in economy, even if he's going to be in Castellate. In this spot, he's now defending. He needs to make another tower. I don't know, but they need to attack. If they don't attack, if they are still going defensive, Argentina will have some problems. Because Patin is still not Castellate. And in this side, the Aztecs got a important no, a huge damn advantage. He's doing the university, but this is not a good fight for them. They don't have another army to stop. They have more archers and more knights. So they will lose everything. Everything. Look at China number two with a lot more population than Monos. Monos losing all and Green losing all as well. Why they don't have siege? I wouldn't go with ballistic. Ballistic is when you have more army. Right now you are so behind. Ballistic is so expensive and you are losing all the damn villages. His map is true. That is awful. It's really awful. It's really awful and he should go at the back. He should go at the back really far. That TC for example. But FedEx it's basically dead. Yes. And like I told you, he's doing the castle on his face. He's gonna be in castle, yes, in time. But this is this is looking so damn bad for Argentina. Now we can see how Nikov is trying to raid. He's gonna be able to do the job and do the damage if he's getting the wall. But they see instantly. They see everything instantly. They are wall. They are safe. Let's see if he's gonna kill. He need to get inside. He's gonna be paladin. He's gonna be paladin. Walling? He's not walling! He's not walling! Oh, no, he's getting, he's getting, oh, oh, Nikov! He was inside and he went back himself! He could kill everything and he went back! Oh my god, man! Oh my god, really? Really, man, really? He went back, man. He went back and he could kill everything Nikov there. Unbelievable. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. The heart attack is, is unbelievable. Please don't clip that. But, wow. Look at the monastery. Now a lot of farmers. Two towers. One, two stables. But... The map control is there, they have the advantage definitely, now Monos did the job with the plus 2, Monos has 70 villages, Purple 78, Nikov the same than Mr. Yo, they are almost the same, but Purple now is destroying, you can see how Phoenix is dead, when you have this kind of map, you have to secure the map better than he did, you can see how he is completely walled, with also an open map, but Phoenix didn't wall, so He's getting destroyed, and a guy gonna get all the villains dead. He should have moved this wood a long time ago. Look, man, it's a deja vu. Move all the villains at the back, man. Here, everything. Yes, stop putting the the, the villains there. Anyway, Nikov is now trying to make a fight against Mr. Yo. But Mr. Yo has a lot of army too, with plus two, plus one knight. Let's see what Nikov can do. Also at home, he's getting destroyed, and they will call the GG really really soon because here is basically two versus one yeah fedex map is really bad but he could do something to make it better stone walls if he's needed or going at the back you have to move the resources yeah it's, it's game over it's completely game over the score is exploding and uh, china it's is getting a big, big, big lead in now in the game. GG call. GG call. First game. First game from China. Whoa! 31 minutes, guys. 31 minutes. Clear win, man. Clear win. They did some, uh, not mistakes, some bad battles that moved the game completely to China. Military. Paladin. 
destroy FedEx. Sadly for FedEx, he destroyed him. Lix, with only eight army, did a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Nico was trying, but the other side died. And then, seems yellow, got absolutely nothing to help Nikov. He was getting two versus one, and China getting the win in the first game. Like always, really solid play by, by the Chinese. Really, really solid play, guys. This is, guys, the second game between Argentina and China SY. Are you ready? I'm sure you are ready. Oh, of course you are ready. Oh, let's check right now the civilizations. Hans, Japanese, Vikings and Mongols. Hans, Japanese, Vikings and Mongols. No Saracens. No Saracens. All right. We have Mr. Yo versus, versus Patin. Vikings versus the Mongols. Let's see what Mr. Yo is going to do. Let's see, man. Then we have in the other flank who? FedEx, Hans versus Feng Shin. Japanese flank. Well, pockets. Pockets are good. Well, Nikov maybe is better as a flank, but Nikov and Milo, Japanese. Monos is not playing. Milo with Japanese pocket. It's good, man. It's good. Then orange. Vikings leaks. Always Vikings better to be a flank. And blue. Hans. Love Chan, guys. We have Love Chan here. No number two. So, look at this. Look at this. Okay. No, I'm not gonna cast in Spain uh, now. Because I'm casting this. But I will take the recorded games and when, when they finish... I don't think so today because I'm so tired, but tomorrow probably, tomorrow I will cast in the games from Spain versus United States. These games, in my opinion, are stronger games because in my, I think SY and Argentina are favorites. SY for sure. Argentina, they have to show the powerful, the strength, and really important game for the for the group. Now we can see how Lovchen, Lovchen is bringing the, the boar and gonna lure the boar. Like this? Wow! Wow! Well, they take that risk that if they shoot a third time, the boar is dead and you can't take the food. You cannot take the food. Well, remember that the bill order in this map is pretty, pretty known by everyone, but we will remind to everyone. For five villages, five villages is the, is the standard. If you want to go for, for water, you, you need to make the dock, then five villages. And fishing ships. All the other villages on foot is now pushing the DS he is. And that village, be careful. Are they restarting or what is this? Okay. A pause. A pause really close to the four minutes. Remember that Argentina cannot restart anymore. Only the Chinese can restart, okay? Well, I'm checking Mr. Yo. Is this moving again or not? Yes, he's moving. The game keep going with that really in danger to lose. I'm gonna hit one more time and now put in the team. Oh, the board is going back. The board is going to go back. No, Mr. Yo. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. He was paying really damn attention, playing at his best and perfect luring. The dog forward aggressive on a side uh, that is defeat so he's okay he's gonna be okay those are really strong bettings good job guys three thousand men bureaus beautiful beautiful Well, now he's taking taking the board with the scout. Perfect. I think there is uh... no. I think the lag might be. Oh, oh! This is now not good. Not good. Well, this pauses, man. But I think Milo usually is lagging a lot. Milo, I have played with him several times, and he lags most of the time. So I don't know, man. Well, now he's taking. 
all the all the dogs let's check the dogs is really important well in that spot for patting well it's okay he got some lucky but usually you want to go more in that area at the back uh, I don't know if he's going at the back but he's closer to green yes because Nikov since he's Mongols he's gonna go up fast up well it's the idea with the Mongols he's taking all the ideas look at those that multi ship outside of the TC not the best Nikov below 9 minutes going up going up faster than Mr. Yo with better population than Mr. Yo well now the same population what is this man? Oh, yeah. I don't want to remember KW1K but now the games are going way better that that then and thank you mr Rezillo, for subscribe for using your twitch prime that is absolutely free to to subscribe into the channel that's just amazing well mr joe is a slow 26 seconds slower than nikov nikov two population more with four fishing ships mr yo two fishing ships the start is definitely better is definitely better for for Nikov okay let's see now Nikov Mr. Yo who's gonna make the, the good fight there Leaks is going up he's the Viking so he should go a lot of galleys there well but yellow is, is far he's going at the same time I think Mr. Yo will be fine he will just put the galleys here we gather and he will wait to, to Orange to join the party. In the other side, we can see how FedEx is forward, really close to Fenshi Japanese. And FedEx has a slow start. The slowest from everyone. Good population, yes, 27. But for being a flank, 27 and uh, 10 minutes, 14 seconds, ay ay ay. It's not the best. Now, Mr. Yo will have the two dogs. Yeah, with Mongols, he's not fast. I mean, he's not cheap civilization like, like the Vikings. So, that early is complicated to have three dogs, but he's already going to make the third. Nikov, the same as well. Seems to be Nikov a bit ahead. Well, a bit. He's three population ahead, right? With the same villages, but still one fishing ship. Eh, but he's getting closer. Look, Nikov 28, Mr. Yo 27. Pretty, pretty close really really close and now let's go to paladin point of view we can see that he's close to him he can see it man and he's already attacking fedex that he's he will need to go back because he doesn't have a single kale a single kale all right yeah juan was really strong but he's not motivated to play for that he's not playing i don't think so he's even watching yeah it makes no sense if he's not motivated to play way to watch but he has the advantage. Gray is hitting, so he's gonna kill that galley. When he's killing that galley, he should move and go away. And it will go. Now blue is coming, love chant. So now red, red, FedEx! FedEx is already in big trouble! Whoa! Well, FedEx, I'm telling you what is FedEx. Bye bye from water. The fish is he's gone, he's two versus one. Purple just went to feudal age. FedEx in troubles, in big troubles right now. Whoa, man. Well, four dogs, yes. Four dogs, whatever you want, but no fish, no fish there, and no galleys either. And now he's coming, killing more and more, and it's gonna be four dogs as well in, in their face. Well, this map choice I don't understand. I don't understand, really. But let's see. Now, yellow is coming, patting with more galleys. Nikov together as well mr yo from behind with more galleys than them he need to go and join the party together look at leaks coming with the galleys and like someone said in the chat they are looking so good in all water they are not bad on water what is this man what the eight months man oh, yeah. amazing man amazing we have internet again the dark time is over asterisk shudder hi lover boys and memb
Thank you, man. I appreciate it. But look at this. Join the party. He has a lot of galleys. They are trying to get all together. And this is big, 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 big problems, man. Here for Argentina. They are. They are suffering. The poo -poo 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 poos from China. Well, in this side, you can see how FedEx is, is in really big trouble. He's gathering the galleys there. Okay. But in the other side, they are also pushing to Nikov and... And Patty, now he lost a galley, Mr. Yo, that wasn't good. Seven army, Milo, only five. But Milo, I guess he will go up to Castellage. Well, I'm not sure, because they are trying to raid Love Chan and gonna kill fishing ships. Remember that those are tanks, mini tanks. And here, look at Feng Shin, man. Look at Feng Shin killing Nikov galley. He's doing a great and amazing job. Whoa, Love Chan also going to kill more galleys. They are doing a fantastic job. This Chinese team is just super strong. They practice all the day. All the damn days, man. And now, here killing Nikov. Look at here, killing more and more galleys. Nikov is 41 population. The same that Joe, but Love Chan. Love Chan 52 with the hands. While the other hands is FedEx with 40 army. Killing one dog already. Killing one dog already. And now... Love Chan, oh, open formation, good job, but he's killing, man. No, Milo is now coming, okay, now he's helping finally. And Milo, this is good, this is good for Argentina, going to Castle Age. Let's see if Milo, being in Castle Age so early, can do the job. Now, he need to go back, yeah, but, oh, he killed two galleys, be careful, that micro, man. And now he's killing another, okay, this seems that, he's, and another one, he's trying to recover and recovering, yes. Okay, in this side, FedEx is in big troubles. He's losing dogs. That's not good. Patin, Patin is now pushing Mr. Yo, which is great for Argentina. 53-46, killing one, one fishing ship. And Mr. Yo need help. Leaks is there, but he's not going. I don't know if he's gonna go. Leaks, are you wake up or do you want to go Taurus here? Now with Leaks there, that's another thing. And Leaks is coming also with the other, but Patin did the job on Mr. Yo. Definitely. Nikov is getting troubled. Blue was surrounding all the Iceland. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Market from, for Patin. That means he's gonna go Castellage as well. Okay. <coughs> Lofchen. It's on the way to Castellage. And this is so good because Lofchen is with 61 population. And 18 army. Is absolutely great. But Milo with Japanese. Let's see. Great economy. Oh man. Killing a second dog. Probably, man. FedEx, still good population. Yeah. But no more dogs anymore. It will delay this. His time to go Castellage. Okay, he did so many farms. That's great. We'll borrow. And let's go to FedEx point of view. Now he has no resources. He has no resources. Paladin on the way to Castellage as well. On the way to Castellage as well, but Red... Ah, Fedis is now doing some good job with the fishing ship. Love Chan, bye-bye. Bye-bye, his fishing ship. Ay, ay, ay. Now nah, he's gonna lose all those fast. But still, no dogs. And Fenshin almost in Castellage. He could even land him if he wanted and make the destruction with the hands. But he's not gonna do it. I think they will keep fighting on water. In the other side, Orange. Well, look at all... All except Mr. Yo. Over 60 population. Anyway, the score is switching. Because this, the score sometimes is tricky. Is what I think. Why? Because three Chinese on the way to Castellage. Three. Not only one. Like in Argentina. Three. And Milo, now with War Galley Abris plus two, force them to move back a bit. But going back till they are going to be in Castellage. Three players in Oh, okay. Killing an oh Barak, is he gonna land? Oh man, he's landing! No 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 no! Oh 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 oh! oh, oh. Yeah 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 yeah! He, he cannot! He, he's gonna lose it! He's gonna lose it! Come on, land, land, Nubio, Nubio! He's gonna land it! What he has, Mister Yo? There, I want to see Mister Yo. Shit, where is he? He has two villiers, two villiers. He wanted to land. Is he gonna land it or not? Vamos! Mr. Yo, save it! And now going with the two villages. He's trying to land. Castle 8. The two villages are there. Let's go to Sin City. If he let him to build something, I don't know what to say. Okay, he's gonna palisade. No, he's fine. Okay, okay, okay. The alert. 
Nothing happening. Nothing happening. Okay, he was fast. Good job there by, by Patin. He's killing him both villages. Good job. Now, he's almost in Castellage. He has the Barrack, but he has only 8 army on water, and that's dangerous. That's dangerous because they have only 3 players on water, but look at the amount of army from China and Argentina. Big difference. Really big difference. We still have 3 players in Castellage. Mr. You're going to be in Castellage, Ferris and Nick. Well, everyone else is going to be in Castellage as well, but this... This is looking so good now for for China. Why? With three because they have three navies on Castellage. And they are getting. They are getting the dogs now. Nikov gonna lose the dogs. Whoa! Nikov has 15 army. He can't. He really can't this. This is the whole map from Argentina. Junior surprise, ID2. Okay. One, two, three dogs, FedEx, a ballistic, blue is coming from behind, you know, they have so much advantage in the navy, a lot more army, a lot more army, and they are killing the dogs, this is so important, Mr. Joe is still doing the skill bar in armor, what the hell, I mean, do you know that this is gonna happen, do you let him land like this, look at this man, they are playing so good man, it's over man, it's already over. He's doing the monastery, but how this is possible to happen? How do you let him to, to land, really? He has now the galleys. He's gonna kill the galleys and the transport, but he's still gonna make another stable, and he's gonna push, 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 push in the land. Yes, and you know why he's doing this? Because he's killing the Vikings. He wants to put the Vikings out of water, and this is definitely total domination, really. I mean, I don't know if they will resign or not, because they still have good amount of navy. But with the knights and landing here, you know, the Mongols sacrifice himself, but the Vikings is going to be problems on water. You can see. Siege Warsaw. Sending more knights. Gonna kill villagers. There you go. And then Hulk is gonna be able to produce uh, galleys. And also, something really important to micro them. So complicated. So complicated. Then orange, gray, and blue can focus completely on water. The only one with a lot of army is Milo, but Milo is getting trapped, he's getting trapped, he's coming from behind, this is the game guys, this is can be a sandwich, I think he should wait, don't go, because Leaks and Blue are coming, the sandwich is happening, I think you should wait and don't move, yes, because they are there, they are there, the sandwich is gonna happen, you can sacrifice a bit yourself Mr. Paladin, because Orange is coming from behind, and Milo, even if he has really a strong population, it's gonna... Switch really quick, man. Really quick with blue and orange there. Look at this three versus one against purple. Three versus one. Love them. Move all the galleys, and they are really dominating. Really, really dominating. Milo, to be honest, is doing a fantastic job. A really good job. And he didn't lose a lot, but still losing. Losing Nikov, 12 army. He's coming with some galleys, but he has no so much. And here, you can see how Teal, now Mr. Yo, is gonna kill. He's gonna kill. Uh, what is killing, better say it. Patin. Oh, look at those villagers. He's repairing. He's with the mangonels. Those knights. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Game over, man. Total domination. Really, I don't know. I mean, this map is... Well, you can see how China... Know to play all the maps, man. Know to play all the maps. Haha, <laughs> 50,000 gone. Do you really thought that China don't know how to play on water? Really? Guys, I always say it when I was casting these tournaments for a long time ago that when a team is picking the map, not looking in his own skill, if they are looking in the opponent skills, they lose. You know what I mean, guys? They wasn't looking if they are, if their best skill is on water. They were looking, okay, they are weak on water. Let's pick it. When people do that, usually, usually the teams are losing. Not always, but it happens so often, really. You have to focus on your own strength. 
this is my opinion at least. And he's gonna be destroyed. He's killing the TC. Uh, look at those knights. He's gonna kill absolutely everything. 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 Well, the disaster. No, 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 no. Oh my god. He could kill more villages. He's not killing, but but still, yellow is, is over. It's really over. He has seven, uh, how many? 21 army, but he's gonna lose more and more. Look at his galleys, you see? You see? Wow. And now, we'll kill more. He has a couple of monks. Loftian is on the way to Imperial. As soon as Loftian is going to be in Imperial. No, this, this is the GG. This is the GG, guys. 2 0, man. 2 0 for China. Ay, 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 ay. I don't say that you, you think what, has, what map you are stronger than China. You have to think, okay, what map I feel good. I feel playing so strong. It's what I think. Maybe they feel so good playing on water. I don't know. But they lost it, man. Leaks a lot of army. Lost and kill a lot. Mr. Your Reddit uh, patting. And sadly, yeah. Sadly, was uh, a quick, a quick GG, a really quick GG here. Uh, what else we can check? Well, Nikov didn't got too much army, but leaks 52 army, lost and 43 and 34. FedEx got killed. Remember, too fast in the game, guys. Double, he got double because Milo was in feudal age. This low was one uh, at this time at 11 minutes and 41 minutes. He was already FedEx double two versus one. Let's go back. There you go, guys. There you go. Well, I think Celts is not good civilization in Razia Fortress. I will tell you why. My opinion is that they don't pick Celts here, for example, because since you start with castle, you know, look at look at the civilizations. All civilizations, right, has has range units. All, except one, Persians. But that makes sense because Persians is a civilization with a great bonus, great great damn bonus economy. Oh, what happened? I listened something. Is he taking or he's fighting? Be careful. Well, I, I would love to see some king dying. Really, kill a king, man. Kill a king. It would be great. Okay, he's taking the boar. Usually the boars are really, really far and outside. So let's see. Go for the bettings. Up to one Argentina, up to two China SY. I hope the kid is gonna die. I hope so too. I really love to see him die. And th those lures are amazing. Then, on the left, we have. We have. China. No, actually, it's in the north. In the north, not on the left. In the north. Teal, Mr. Yo Mongols. Hmm, there you see Mongols, Mr. Yo. I don't like the Rizai Fortress going with the Mongols. Flank versus versus Milo Persians. Persians really strong, boo, with those walls and, and everything. I don't know, man. Okay. On the other side, <coughs> Mayans FedEx is facing Chinese Love Chan. He's taking the boar with the eagle. Second boar, good job. And pockets. Spanish leaks. Versus Spanish Monos and uh, Mayans Paladin versus Nikov Chinese. Well, I want to see. I want to see this one. Uh, the positions in the map, honestly, I think they are better for for uh, for Argentina. Well, maybe maybe Persia's pocket would be great, great, and maybe Nikov on the left with Chinese. But whatever, it's it's fine. Mongols flank, then we have Mayans pocket. I don't know, I want to see this. I really want to see this. And Spanish versus Spanish. Okay. You know that uh, the action here is gonna be uh, late. It's gonna be in Castellage, of course. So, we will see, man. One, two, three, four farmers. Nikov on the way to Fidelates. Mr. Yo, Paladin, Love Chan, everyone. Remember that the start here is different. You start with double the population. So Chinese is a must, is a must here in Rizai Fortress. Uh, it's true, this is small. It's a small, but it's safe. I mean, look at the goal. It's not really exposed. 
He has uh, a nice, really nice whip because he's completely well defended. He can also make a TC here with two towers, so he's gonna be really well defended as well. And, and it's fine. It's a small, but it's fine. And he's at the edge of the map, which is, mm, I don't know, a bit far from the, from the others. Farther than, than usually in, the, in these kind of maps. Man, will you stream Russia A versus Switzerland A at 17 GNT? 17 GNT is in 25 minutes. What do you think? I mean, I know that people, you think that I am a machine, but, uh, but it's complicated, man. It's com I can't, I cannot duplicate. Really. I know that you won't, but <laughs> it's impossible, man. <coughs> okay, well, he's going with the king. Market, Blasmith, they go really fast. Market, Blasmith, Leaks 23 population. Oh, well, they are walling. Between blue and orange, they are walling. Okay, interesting. It's not really important, but Castellage, the same. Thanks, Sheena, Mr. Yo. Oh, look at the market. Well, Milo, just go away. But that wolf, that wolf is gonna kill his villager. Right? Yeah, man. That wolf is gonna kill Mr. Yo Villager. Oh, that's crazy, but it will happen. It will really happen. Nikov going there, and uh, he's doing the stone wall. And I think that wolf will attack, or he's out of range. I don't know, man. Everyone going to Castle Age. What strategy they are going to pick? Remember that we start with 150 stone, and you need to mine a stone. Yeah, he's mining. And Mr. Yo. Mongol civilization, slow civ Oh, but he's he's there, man. He can see the the wall for what? Okay. Yeah, but Mister Yo is there. But you need to you need to to make the first hit. I agree with you. But usually, when you are walled like this, the wolf come and you don't pay attention. Okay, the team walls are happening. Look at this. Oh my god. You see? You see? Now he's gonna lose it. Where's the scout? Where's the scout? He's going. He's going. He's trying. He's trying to go. He's trying to go. Ay, ay, ay. I, uh, 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 oh, it's not Marta. Sadly, my wife is not here today. Oh my god, he's saving this. It's Marta's mom that is screaming like crazy, and I always get annoyed because she's talking so damn loud for everything. For everything. But now, well, 1 HP, man. 1 HP tone center. Okay, okay. Oye, pero, vaya la piscina? ¿Va a la piscina o no? ¡Cookie! ¡No! ¡Cookie! Venga, que no, no, no hagáis ruido aquí, hombre. Ok, es what I was taking care of my kids. Just, I just was watching my kids. I'm sorry. Well, let's go now with the one, two, three, four houses. He's well, they are walling all, all team walls. I was missing these walls, and uh, well, let's see what they are doing. Uh, well, Argentina is is doing nothing. I mean, just booming. Didn't make any walls, so they are going for the boom. I don't see any military there. Almost nothing. FedEx and the others are doing a bit more, and well, let's see what they are going to do. It's fine. Shh. 
It usually stand out. Nothing that I was I was you couldn't hear to be honest. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I tried, but but I didn't notice. I didn't notice. I was I was a bit confused. Anyway, we can see how Mr. Joe is going for the full boom. One, two, three, tone center. Okay. And uh, taking the goal. Look at those Billy is doing. Taking the wood, but army still nothing. In the meanwhile, blue marches for Feng Shin. They are doing army. They want to raid. Yeah, man. And they are going to kill something. Idle time now with those blue marches. He's gonna kill a billion? No, he didn't. But they are doing some units. Lofjan also have army as well. He's doing Chukunus? Let's go to Lofjan point of view. Yeah, he has the Chukunus at home. Is he gonna send or not? The, so, the situation here is Argentina. Argentina is... Full, full booming while uh, China is doing some units. So it should give this better boom from Argentina. Definitely, they have everyone all more than 40 villages. But then that can change now with the raiding and 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 villain down. No, it's not killing. He got it. There you go. Okay. Betis is still open. For real. Yeah, they are still open, so I'm gonna close. Well, you can. It will close in one minute, guys. In one minute, or I close it. Yeah, I close it already. No problem. Close it. The bettings. There you go. So, uh, now they are trying to make some little walls. Population is better for Chinese because they have army. Uh, booming coming is, is better for Argentina, at least in terms of villages. But you know that sometimes more villages don't doesn't mean a hundred percent a better boom. You know the the macro mana band is really important. Oh man, look at that key in there, man! Look at that key in there. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? Well, the record is there. It's 387, that, but it's not updated because we have 387 lover boys in the house. 11 more, and we will have a new emoticon. Yes, Sharky, 100, fucking Sharky, <laughs> like you said, man. Look at those blue matches. He's gonna, he's gonna raid or try to raid. Where well, they are trying, but they are not doing any army, man. Argentina. Now is he doing some blue matches? FedEx. Let's go to FedEx. One, two, three, four houses. Okay. Oh well, oh well. Oh well. The Kongs are always stronger. Always stronger, but he has more army. So, with the Kong as well, he's doing the job. Good job there. But Gray, Fen Shin is coming with a lot of blue marches. Plus one. Plus one. Everyone doing the wheelbarrow. But Nikov, I believe, Nikov resources, how they are going. 76 population, strong population. Lafjan 78 with Chinese. He has 67 villages. Nikov 76. He's always, he's always the better boomer, definitely. But now let's see if he's gonna be able to kill with China. Mongols, I believe that they are going to be slow. So let's see, guys. Argentina really need to get wins in this series, or he will be. They will. They can be in troubles, really. Look at those blue marchers. Well, Fenshin doing the Botkin arrow. FedEx now doing the Botkin arrow as well. And Nikov is about click cap in 19 minutes, man. In 19 minutes. Oh my god. He's up, man. Nikov is up to Imperial. Nikov is up to Imperial, man. Are you kidding me, man? But Lofchen, <laughs> Lofchen, with 10 billions less, is also on the way to Imperial and he has Siege Warsop and, and Chukunus already. While Nikov, zero army. You see, guys, he's going to Imperial at the same time. Now Nikov is doing stables. 
Well, different decisions. Chinese, stables, gonna go Cavaliers. In the other side, it's gonna go Rams and Chukurus. I want to ask you guys, what is a better choice? Rams and Chukunus or Cavaliers? You tell me guys, you tell me your opinion. Rams and Chukunus or Cavaliers? I know that they are Cavaliers against Mayans and the Mongols. But is what I'm telling you guys. Well, let's see, we're going to see it. Exactly man, so you have the best boom but now you make Cavaliers. I don't know man, I don't know. Of course, man. I know. I know the answer. I was just asking, like, suggesting that... Uh, I don't know what Nikov is doing there. He has now a second cast. He's gonna lose some bullies, yes. Monos is on the way to Imperial. Of course, they have Persians and Spanish. Why you go, Cavaliers? And the other is Persians as well. Well... Is his choice and also praise when you have already one castle, right? But you have one castle up, you only need to go with. Well, let's see. Maybe it won't. Maybe it's gonna work. We will see. Lachan is gonna be two minutes faster than FedEx. What that means? That FedEx will lose this castle. If Blue is playing good, he will lose it for sure. Now Cavaliers. Played Varden Armor, Castle Forward, okay, if he's also adding Chukunus, then that's another thing, and I will mute, but for now he's doing Cavaliers, okay. Doing the stables, he's coming with the blue matches, be careful, he need to make the castle at the back, because the blue matches are there. No, the Cavaliers are good. I mean, they are plus four, plus four and bloodlines. You can see all the damn upgrades. We cannot even see. They are doing everything at the same time because this map, the action, is always in Imperial. Yeah, it's always in Imperial. But here, Love Chan, and I will go to Love Chan point of view because he's in Imperial. We'll go Treb. You need to go Trebuchet. But he's coming, man. He's coming. Love Chan is a sick player. I'm telling you. He's really good. Really damn good. The Chukurus are there. Going to do the damage. He's coming with Cap Rams. With Cap Rams. He's coming with a castle already almost on his face. Not 100% but on his face. I'm just missing one trap. He's not doing the traps. Orange is gonna come late with the Cavaliers very soon. Very soon. But Milo is also doing Cavaliers plus four. So now they have the same army. Both Cavaliers, both Cavaliers on the left. Okie dokie, Milo doing a market because Steel was walling everything and he will try to wall more. Mr. Yo is in Imperial as well. We have three Argentinian, three Argentina in Imperial and uh, Monos with 120 population is gonna make the job better than Leaks. His score seems to be way stronger. But guys, Love Chan, six rams and Chukunus plus three. He's doing the damage in this area. We will see if they are going to do the job. We can see how Nikov is going with the Cavaliers hit coin, but not pushing, not pushing anything. While Blue, oh my God, Sea Traps and Chukunus gonna make the difference, of course, because the Knights are there. And he's doing Cavaliers plus four as well. 13 army leads, 14 army monos, and they are getting all the damn math. That's the biggest problem here. FedEx now has is losing more and more ground. He's gonna be able to defend with the blue marches and those Cavaliers plus four. Eh, don't say yes, but yet. But uh, let's see. Nikov really strong population with 130 villages, 31 army, less army than blue. And this army with the Chukunus, oh my god, Monos, a lot of, a lot of Cavaliers, be careful man, because now Argentina could take a good fight, Orange, it's behind Monos, definitely behind, 20 population, they have really good, really good heals here, but Lovchen is now coming with the Trebuchet, he's getting a beautiful heal in that spot, I will kill there, I will go here, with the castle, Siege Ram, Trebuchet, look at those Chukunus, ay 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 ay, Ooh. 
Nick of Population, guys. He's really strong. He's really strong. And here, coming with so many cavaliers against the Magnum that can work well. Well, Mr. Yo has 12, 12 army and he lost a castle. Now Mr. Yo has only two castles. He really need to be careful. Ay ay ay, he's in trouble, Mr. Yo. Sending all castles at the back. But here, oh, Argentina, guys. Argentina, Argentina is now pushing. Oh, right. Because Monos, with a really great population, they need to make the markets. They are doing the markets. They are playing now very, very good. Okay, look at those elite blue marches. Wow. Okie dokie, a lot of blue marches. And this is... Cabal is plus four, but Lix is doing the Paladin already in this side. Let's see. Let's see because you need to to kill those Paladins from Milo. Milo has right now 15 army only. Make more army, Mr. Milo. And also open all the crap walls and make markets to trade. Here, if they kill the castles, ay ay ay, the score is switching all the time. This is what we want to see. Close them gains. But Nikov is losing so many cavaliers. What is Nikov doing there? Look at Nikov. Like, really? How many cavaliers he has lost against the Mago guys? Like 10? Nikov 30 unit kill, 45 lost. Mr. Yo, 28 kills, 6 lost. 6 lost. He wants to go and kill the traps. He killing one trap. And now going back, Mr. Yo playing one more time, sick, amazing, but in this spot they are playing so good, with Paladins from Monos and Blue Marches as well, they should now be able to stop the Mongols, how to stop the Mongols now, whoa, they are letting Mr. Yo get really, really damn strong, yes, but now, this is so many paladins, this is what you have to do. Teamwork. If you send the paladins, purple paladins, to the other side, they can really push. More trebuchet than siege rams. You need siege damn rams. Well, leaks, guys. Leaks has right now 53 paladins. Not one, not two, not even ten, no. 54 paladins already. He's coming with a sick population. Love Chan. Wow, Lachan is gonna be housed forever. He has only two castles now. He's there. They have trade. Well, everyone is getting some trade. The, those fights are going to be crazy. Oh man, look at Melo with the paladins killing the blue marches. Yes, and here, Mr. Yo, stop Mr. Yo in this game. That's the biggest problem here. They are not going to be able to trade. I think they are not going to be able to trade Argentina, and that's not good. Let's see if Nikov, Nikov is can go there with a lot of army, man. Yeah, I think if Nikov was right now, the amount of Chukunus the other has, definitely they will have the advantage. Definitely they will have the advantage. Nikov needs Chukunus. Why? Because he's Paladins and Cavaliers. Paladins and Cavaliers, and now look at the spot again. What the hell? Mr. Yo is playing super strong. Nikov with those Cavaliers, not good decision in my opinion. The Chukurus will do a way better combo with the Paladins. Both both Cavaliers, and they can't they can't stop Mr. Yo for now. In this area, it's true that they, are, they were doing a good job, but now Leaks is coming with so many Paladins and killing everything. Monos, 27 Paladins, 54 Leaks. 54 leagues now killing the castle and really China is getting the game again are you kidding me man whoa Ah well with the trebuchet he's doing a good job now Melo playing good top score Melo with 36 paladins Nick of 50 army more army than Joe no so 50 Mago dice and Nikov has. I'm uh, insisting on, on Nikov because, come on, he's the top player here from, uh, from Argentina. Now he's coming with Elite Chukunus. That's the way to go. Cavaliers and Elite Chukunus, but you need to go push, 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 push on the left. Big problem here is that Orange is gonna kill everything now. Yeah, FedEx right now has. Uh, 132 population. I mean, if Monos is there, FedEx is little by little losing absolutely everything. Everything because Orange has way more army now than FedEx. And Blue is coming from behind, killing all those Paladins. They are definitely playing way, way better in Imperial, man. Way better fight in Imperial. And for some point, I thought that 
Argentina got an important advantage. Now he's coming with pro marches and halberdiers, with paladins and cavaliers against holding. But now look at Mr. Yo with the mago dice. This is over, man. And they're calling the GG. What a pity game, man. What unbelievable game. Unbelievable game, really. Mr. Yo radio kills. Come on, man. Mr. Yo lost 15 units in this game. 15 units. That's incredible, man. Whoa. Guys, two choices. Civilizations here. Mongols kill everything. And unit composition. I think was the key, man. Was the key. Achievements. Military leaks also 67 army, Monos 45. Both with paladins. He killed 1 and 31, Monos killed 49. FedEx the most army, 67. He killed 85, 111. Lofton got a lot less, but leaks killed the most. In the other side, Mr. Yo, 58 largest army, Milo 41, 33, 75, and Nikov. Cavalier's choice being the fast in Imperial, ay ay ay. And here, Mr. Yo, 101 unit kills, 15 unit loss. Technology, we can see, Nikov sick, Imperial time 23. Love 10, 23 too. But you saw the composition was completely different. Guys, stay absolutely tuned. Okay, guys, the last game of this series. Are you ready? Are you ready? There you go, guys. Civilizations, Persian, Chinese, Mayans, and Spanish. Well, for now, I see, in my opinion, better choice of civilizations for for China. Safer. They pick Aztecs, Chinese, Mayans, and Mongols. Well, Mongol, uh, Mayans for both, Chinese for both, expected. But then Persians, Mongols, Aztecs, and Spanish. Well, Aztecs. Let's see what they are going to do. Oh my God. Aztecs, where he's going. You can see the TC. Now come on, you can see the TC. Don't make the TC there, Love Chen. Don't make a TC war because you can see the tone center. They could they could ask for for the win if they were if you make a TC like this. Where he's going? To that spot? Oh my god. Look at Love Chen. Ah, he's Chinese. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He's doing the TC already. Okay. Look at those villages. Super far. Yeah, he's locating the TC in a beautiful spot. Really beautiful spot. Oh, well. Now I notice another thing. Argentina, not even a paladin civilization. Are you kidding me, man? Really, it's overrated? I'm not sure about that. Well, China number two. Look at this house. This is one of the most beautiful houses that I have seen. He could make it closer even. Well, he didn't want to be idle, right? Ha, huh? yeah, great. Purple, FedEx, uh, Mongols. Well, let's check all the all the Chinese. Oh man, but where's Love Chen? And Mr. Yo? Look at this, man. How they are located. Persian Mr. Yo so close to FedEx. FedEx in the middle of the map between three players. This is far, but green are is really close. Love ten. And then where, where is the last? Orange. Well, but orange it's also far from the other three. Yeah, this is nice, man. This is nice. It's, it's gonna be really crazy. Well, with the Mongo with the uh, the Mongols, the boards is okay, but the short fish we have said many times that is absolutely great, right? Great, okay. Okay, let's see. Salon, Omode, Ori, Omode, Ori, Salon. Well, this this should be this is a really important game for Argentina. They should try to get some wins because hmm, depend of the draw. Remember that uh, Czech Republic A with error, a school, Janik, they are really strong, and they could take some win from uh, from 
from uh, from China. So if they lose four zero, four zero, be careful, man. Well, Nikov, this is a really beautiful tone center. Look at this. Well, blue patting. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, uh, I, I prefer all the kind of, of legs to, to take this one. For example, is awesome for monos with that male and this one taking plenty of food, but taking the boar, you don't need it, man. And even less if you are going to make a bad luring, but at the end, beautiful. All right, good job. Well, I guess that with Aztecs he will try to go crazy more crash. Going super aggressive, and if they are located close, that's the way to go. But really, I wonder what FedEx is going to do here in this spot. He's in a really, really dangerous position. But in the meanwhile, in the meanwhile, well, I really, I really feel no, I will ban you not for 10 minutes for like one hour man what the fuck stupid guy man i'm sorry man but stupid guy really no it's i'm sorry i'm honest i'm not polite i just call what he is oh my name is stone and mr yo is going to go up super fast man all right i don't know man Okay. Yeah, it was fast. Oh my dear. Oh my dear. Well, Mr. Everyone going to feudal age, but FedEx that is with Mongols, right? It's slower than Persians that is so close. And oh, he can see the stragglers. You see those stragglers? Ay ay ay, ay ay ay, ay ay ay. Doing the outpost. He's gonna see now something. He cannot see anything, FedEx. Oh my god, his exploration. He can see the house, but he know nothing. Well, let's see what Mr. Joe is going to do. Because it can be in big trouble. You can see how Gray is trying to wall everything. China number two. He's mining a stone. He's what? Mayans. Taking now gold. Okay, he's fine. He's gonna go standard. And Mr. Yo gonna go scout, I think. Don't watch. Yeah, he's there, man. He's there, and the tower is coming, man. Yeah. Uh, Felix is gonna be in big danger. In really big danger. He's gonna palisade now. Oh, but Mr. Yo, what are you doing? No, but he's gonna send a scout also. Yes, he's sending a scout. Doing the tower, but with that tower, he's gonna deny that the stone. I love Chan. We go castle it, and Felix will, will die. Except... If mono RTD range? Are you kidding me, really? Come on, man! They're going okay. Well, let's see. Maybe it's gonna work. But feudal army here with Aztecs. Oh, ay, ay, ay. I'm not really convinced. Oh. Trying to go aggressive. Well, League's going to go Castle Age super fast. Now he's gonna Palisade. Palisade this. He's gonna lame, I guess. <coughs> No, he's not. He's doing another tower. Good job. House, palisade, and another one. There you go. And now with the scouts, he's doing more scouts. Uh, Mr. Yo, we will see. Yeah, he's doing more scouts. Whoa. Let's see, man. Double Archie range with the Aztecs. Uh, well, Orange is on the way to Castle H already. Well, if he's raiding, 
fast. Well, let's go to Mono's point of view. He can do some damage, but he didn't explore anything. Now he's doing a tower to protect the goal. He's going with arches and he's gonna find the gold miners. He's gonna have so lucky. Yes, he will. <coughs> Well, the arches are there. Yes, and now he knows that he's coming. He need to wall a bit, but Lix, Lix is aware. So, oh, let's see, man. And now the scouts, oh my god. Oh my god. FedEx in big troubles with, well, but he's fighting. Uh, another villain down. Well, Mr. Yo is still with four villains alive. FedEx has lost two villains and Mr. Yo, one scout. He's doing another tower. And that tower is gonna do the damage. Now he has no bar. Like, this can be a really quick game, man. A really quick game. Are you kidding me, man? Well, he's doing the tower and he's gonna make it. He's gonna send the scout. He's killing another village. FedEx in big troubles. In really big trouble because he didn't explore properly. But now, Orange. It's also in troubles, man. Monos is doing the job. Really doing the job. That he has on Leaks stone to make the castle, he does. So now who is gonna make the job is gonna be Leaks. The castle in that area. Yeah, look at this. He's doing the loom now. FedEx is fuck. Of course he's fuck, but uh, he's repairing. Gonna send more scouts. Well, if Green is sending siege, well, just night. Ay ay ay. Anyway, Nikov is in Castle Age. Faster and he's coming with camels. He has double monastery Nikov. Oh 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 and Lovchen Lovchen is there man but he's not no, he do not notice now Argentina is not in that bad position. Well, let's see man let's see Patin is with almost castle it's there you go he did the castle it will be conquistadors but monos annoying mode doing the tower so resources for orange are weak 18 population man orange has 18 population guys 18 villages man whoa he lost six villages against those arches yeah man he lost a lot a lot of dead boys this is a lot of action this is unbelievable man whoa -ho -ho. fetus is in trouble but he's moving villages so he's not that terrible position 27 villages mr yo 30 okay he lost three but still now yellow Nikov, it's gonna make his soul really make the damage on green, and that's really important. Look with the camels, with the with the scouts. He's got that villain, man. Kill it. The multitasking, man. The multitasking. Okay, Nikov, gonna put in big troubles. Love chat. Well, he's in big troubles already. But China number two is booming, right? No, it's a castle like blue. The same. TC and where is the castle? Is doing a castle or not? No. Since Cida is not. Doing a castle? No. He's doing extra tone centers without blue marches. Okay. His choice. And now, so many arches. He's gonna deal with the conks. I'm not sure. It's, it's four conks already. Micro, micro monos. You need the armor. He's doing the armor. There you go. Oh, be careful. Oh my god, but those conks are sick, man. Nick of Soul sent a couple of knights. Nick of Soul sent a couple of knights here. I don't know. But he wants to focus on on the push. The problem is, if you have to multitask, that's gonna be that's gonna be different. Two knights, he's now palisading. He needs to palisade the Lambrias. What the hell? They find everything? They find everything? Wall it. Yes, he did good wall. In the other spot, Mr. Yo, 37 population going for the crazy, crazy fight. Love Chen, a tournament, a tournament, and now he's gonna kill that tower too. Are you kidding me? What is this, man? <laughs> Mess games. Well, in this kind of game, super crazy. This could be better position for for Argentina to do to do the job, and they are doing well. 19 villages from Orange. 19 villages. What about if Red is sending his archers on Mr. Yo base? He could make. A natural disaster, really. Let's see. Anyway, Nikov is pushing and he's pushing so strong. Lots and 27 population. So, guys, Argentina has now a huge advantage with this 
civilization choice and now a crazy strategy it's working man he's doing now a tower trying to protect all his resources and orange is is super bye bye some blue marches that gonna make the damage he's doing the market let's see let's see fedex how fedex is going where is fedex well he is still no gold no stone no nothing no nothing fedex is in a terrible position look at this doing a house look at the plasmid is now doing a counter tower because he's, he's not it's not gonna be in anywhere but yellow nikov is still killing man still killing maybe some more knights monos is on the way to castellates good no beautiful tower this castellates is really so good so good and this is a lot of arches there you go well now he's doing the castle good job 52 villains 52 villains yes patin doing a great a great boom okay LC fans are very conservative, no, because HD game is a game that is broken, for that reason, a big tournament is, is better in, in the vanilla, I mean, the HD, it's going, uh, it's not going as smooth, I and mean, we, we have talked about that a lot of times, guys, it's not about being conservative, we love the civilizations, we love the news, the new possibilities, but with a good and a smooth game, not a completely different game but that's another topic we focus in the game and now we can see fedex 31 population 31 population joe resources joe resources Ooh, about to go up castle age yes but monos is almost there almost in castle age a lot of a lot of arches he can now go and raid we will see but nikov nikov has basically basically killed a love chan Love Chat 30 population leaks is trying to recover, but he should go and raid, man. He should try go and raid. This is the second tone center. Mr. Yo now doing the double with axe. Okay. Well, FedEx was in a terrible spot, but still, he's defending properly. 34 population is doing what he can. Mr. Yo 46. But now he's. Oh my god, oh my god, he's going to convert them all! Well, Nikov finally has played like Nikov and he's destroying Love Chan. Destroying Love Chan. Well, Monos, he should go to the other side, really. If he's sending the archers. Oh, but he's killing all the Kongs and now with plus two, he's gonna do. No, he's doing the damage. Yes, Argentina finally playing really good in this one. And now, now, Patin, it's with the Botkin and Blue Marches doing the job as well. A lot of crowds with my Monos, who's gonna do the damage where? I think. You should go to Teal and destroy Mr. Yo. He's the only one that is already there with the advantage with Fed as well. Great too. 70 population, but Patin with 86. And I will go to his point of view. Vamos. Yes, he's gathering the resources little by little. Now, Monos with a tower there. University to make ballistic bozo. This is, you know, guys, how important can be this game? I'm telling you why. If Argentina finish winning this game, imagine going with a 3-1, doing a great game to play to play tonight against Brazil C. And now, and now, Mr. Yo is moving. I mean, Nikov is moving to Mr. Yo. Blue matches by Patin. Gonna kill all the damn billions. Go to the north. Kill all the damn billions. Focus, man. And if they go and kill the tone center, well, he's gonna be in Castle. Ay, 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 ay. No, man. Blue is 97 population. Argentina finally playing good. Why I say that? Because we need all the teams motivated, strong, and focused, and win. All to everyone, not always 4 0. No, no, no. And now I want to see the Ben Bureaus, guys. Well, he's in Castle, he's but four mangonels. And with those blue marches, he's killing everything. Mr. Yo is 39 villages. Love Chan 26, Licks 33. Except FedEx, that is in a terrible position with 28 population. Definitely. Finally, Nick of MVP. And Blue did a great job. Why? He did first the tone center and the. Oh, oh. Love Chan, Love Chan. Well, don't give up if you don't want, but this is absolutely over. Over a hundred percent. Yes, look at this. 
Sin City, Patin, and Nikov 1978 Villies. Only Gray with 74 Villies can do something. Come on, man. He is on the way to Imperial, but at the same time that China number two. But really, if Gray is killing the everyone here, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. FedEx, try to find some good spot, or you will be defeated, man. You will be defeated. Move the damn Villies to the other side. For example, to Nikov place, or FedEx. They will destroy you, man. What the hell? FedEx, move! Well, FedEx is not moving. We can go to the fog of war. He can see everything, but he's not. No, no, no. FedEx is gonna keep, he's gonna get defeated, man. FedEx Stone Center, man. FedEx TC is absolutely sick. Mr. Yo is trolling him, walling him off. Look at this. He's gonna do the palace. He's gonna wall. Gonna wall him in. Oh man. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. He's walling him. He's walling the town center. And now with that palace side, he walling, man. This is the TC that we want to see. Look at this, man. Trolling, man. Trolling. Now the, those villains, I have never seen this. Not often, at least, right? I have never seen this. Is he gonna now kill the palace side? <laughs> FedEx, 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 FedEx doing the cartography because he wants to, to see this. No, man, China cannot come back. I mean, Love Chan is 15 population, Mr. Yo 37, and here he's killing the towers, Nick of Handcart, and Patin is in Imperial as well. They, they will call the GG, I imagine. The score is big difference, and, and here, in a crazy, in a crazy game, do you see, guys? They pick water map like the first home map. In this home map, they pick a crazy game. And with a crazy style, not like in a standard play, they are getting the win, guys. They are getting the win. Well, except that Gray now is gonna kill everything. That we don't know. Elite Eagles. Elite Eagles incoming. Well, Purple, Fed is gonna be defeated, man. If he's not moving villages and he's not doing to a safe spot, he can get destroyed, really. But let's see Nikov. What is Nikov going to do? And what is Red going to do? Blue marches. Blue marches. Elite blue marches. The other guy, El Dorado. Oh my god. Can you imagine that Gray now is going to kill all? Is FedEx AFK? Well, I'm asking, but he's not answering. Now Blue marches. He's killing a lot of villains, man. Nah, it's impossible. Blue 140 population. <coughs> Why some play cross and others Bedouins? Well, because it's their choice. Who is losing in the score in the last game? Pick. Now he's defending those villages. No paladins needed. Milf Hunter. Good point. Good point. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. You are right, man. You are right. Well, he's going to stable. Now, now the Cavaliers are a good choice. Yes. Cavaliers and Blue Marches against those Eagles. Yep. Remember, guys. Remember, guys, that this is, uh, is super late. It should be super late. Exactly. Exactly. Bedouins, if you are a strong, a strong team like... Uh, like Argentina is a good choice. When they pick it, I, I was like, this is the way to go, man. But now Mr. Yo is losing all. No, man, this is this is impossible. Look at the score difference over 1,000. And remember, it's late in, in China. They don't want to go to sleep. Yeah, kill the Lambrican. Go aggressive, man. A lot of blue marches. He has 38 blue marches, 26 army. They don't let him to raid. What is he doing, FedEx? <laughs> An outpost. He wants to see what is going on there. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Well, he's sending eagles. Oh, he escaped with the TC. Awesome. And now, what is Nikov doing? Well, the eagles are going. Trying to make some damage. 100 HP and 4. 4 armor. Well, he still has some blue marches. He's trying to make some damage with the eagles to where? Well, there is a lot of villages from blue and red. They're gonna kill. They're gonna kill a lot. There, they, they are not going back. Well, blue marches. Okay. Yeah, but they are killing everything. 
They are killing everything else over here with two marches. Why they are not sending siege? Is Dick of going to send siege or what? 160 population, cavaliers, market. Okay, market, no siege yet. But still, why these Chinese and this uh, situation don't resign? They think that they really can come back? Well, they can see that they have so low population. Well, but they see... Oh my god, FedEx. Oh my god, FedEx. I'm gonna get wrecked. Now that he has blue marches, reading everything. Reading Mr. Yo. Coming with the eagles. He's coming with the mangonel. He's gonna lose the mangonel because the castle is there. Look at this. Gonna lose all the mangonels. Go back, Nikov. Gonna lose another one? No. He's now going with the villages, but that village... Okay, the castle. He's gonna lose the castle. Let's see the trap. 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 <coughs> I'm sorry. Let's see the trap. Let's see the trap. Ah, oh, but Gray is not focused enough. He could kill that castle. Definitely. But he didn't. Now FedEx doing an amazing, an amazing TC in a beautiful spot under the pressure, but he's converting all. And here... Hello? Okay, he lost the Cavalier. Now, man, this is trolling now. Whoa, trolling? But they don't give up, man. They are not trolling. They play serious. Look at those eagles trying to wait. And now with the blue marches trying to kill the eagles, he needs more army. He's coming with the Cavaliers. Monos is on the way to Imperial, but no, man. This is just total domination by Argentina in this one. Now he will finish this castle and just go and raid. Well, they keep raiding here. With the eagles, he's trying to defend, but all those blue marches killing all. Now, eagles by Nikov. Eagles by Nikov, because he converted and he's killing all. Nikov and uh, Patin did the job. But really, Monos, and I was skeptical, I admit it, about Monos' strategy, destroyed Orange. He put Orange out of the game. And uh, Liz, that now is with 90 villages, the most in his, uh, in his team, couldn't do anything with the Spanish in this one. Anything. Nothing. They still try and Monos is gonna go also elite eagles. Well, if they let him, because now he's getting ready big time. What the hell is this, man? Are they going to finish the game or, or, or not? They have huge advantage, like double, no, 2000 score advantage, okay. Blue has 72 army. Nah, they have no army. China number two, only 22. Only 22 military. And FedEx is still in feudal age. He's now on the way to castle age because he got some sling. They can raid. Yeah, it's, it's, it's completely over. They, they are not resigning, but they are calling the GG. Beautiful, very nice, Argentina, 4-0 with these teams, this will be painful and they got a win that can be really, really strong and important with the psychologic factor, their achievements. We will see achievements, military, he killed a lot, Nikov in this game, definitely MVP, because Love Channel, Mr. Yo, 4-5 army, FedEx, 6 army only, at least 14, all the Chinese except China number 2 were bye-bye in this game and Argentina with Nikot in a really strong position, got a really nice win, guys. Congratulations to the Argentinians, but sadly they lost 3-1.